Perfect. Hello. What's up, guys? I am Thomas Dobazola, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I'm with my co host, Marty O'Neill. We're back. What's up? Oh, you scared me? I know you don't hear that, but that scared me. We're back, back in the building. Man. First solo. I didn't out. expect that at all. Let's go. Um, it's the Dope as Usual podcast. You're talking about life, drugs, problems, accomplishments, and everything in between. We are back. It has been officially six weeks since we've done a solo episode. A month and a half. It's Marty's birthday the last time we were in this room with just me and you. It's October. You shot Omar with the confetti oh, cannon. Oh, I shot Omar in the chest with a confetti cannon. That's mm-hmm. true. I don't know if you guys saw that part, but I messed up and I put a, like a little dent in the roof when I shot the other one. <laughs> Shouldn't have shot him with it. I could have took his teeth out. Didn't Couldn't think about that. G Master lens out. <laughs> yeah, that, that too. I was more worried about his teeth because then I got to hear him <laughs> complain about it while I have to fix it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Things that don't get said on the show, I wish we could talk about. It's a lot funnier. A lot of the stuff we say is slap your knee funny, but it might be considered kind of offensive. A little bit. We're talking about, we have new cameras, guys. And as you can see, <laughs> the whites are very crisp. The blacks are very crisp. Like they're, and like, oh, they're separated. Like the camera segregated the colors. And he goes, yeah. It's segregation. We finally got segregation down of our cameras. And then Marty says, I have a new album coming out called White Balance. White Balance. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, all the camera guys out there are going nuts, (laughs) laughing their asses off. Everybody else like, what? (laughs) Anyway, I thought it was funny. Colors are segregated. This is white. This is black. Imagine a fence and there's a concert over here going in the 50s. Se- we've segregated the colors very nicely mm-hmm. and that's the kind of shit that gets Did you anybody trouble. notice the new cameras seamlessly come into the equation during these guest episodes anybody notice we got four brand new cameras guys brand new this one bomb that one bomb this one bomb and they're not dying wait I'm that's not- three am i burnt didn't we buy four technically your camera's still pretty new <laughs> oh, i thought we bought four of we got those. three we got three new ones boom 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 <laughs> there we go yo i i I'm off. I'm off the chain today. Mm-hmm. I'm about to, I was about to say some stupid shit, but I won't. Can Here we do we, a quick recap uh, of everything we've been doing? Was it Will Sasso that kicked off this? No, legendary? Will Sasso. Then we went Evil Deeds. Then we went the birthday episode. Okay. Then we went Fluffy, which was mm-hmm. epic. If you guys didn't know, we have a TikTok. Marty posted a clip of, of Fluffy staring at the joint. It got three and a half million views on just the picture. Crazy. We got 30,000 followers. Fluffy holding a cannon. <laughs> so you got Fluffy. The next week we had Cheech, which was awesome. It's pretty, so sick. Pretty wild. It's pretty what wild. What did we just say about him? Oh, yeah. The <laughs> oh, yes. Trick. The old man. Like when the bill comes, you hit him with the Uno card. Right? You pick up the bill. Reverse. When you're, when you're old, you could do stupid shit. And people go, oh, what a funny old man. Uh-huh. But if I do that, they're like, what a piece of <laughs> shit. Cheap <laughs> Put the reverse card on the waiter. Gotcha, man. Like, you smell like weed fool. You're not gonna pay for your. Oh, you guys are fucking. You gotta be. You guys are dabbing at the table. Yeah, you gotta and be shit. old. Hit me with the reverse. Oh, no. When you're old, sexual <laughs> harassment is just oh how cute. But when you're 32, the same yeah. things at 72, hmm. you going to jail. Interesting. Remember in a, what was it? Wedding singer with old man grabs Drew Barrymore's butt and he high fives his grandson. Wow. They're like. <laughs> Yo, that's a salt. Bad Grandpa that's show. That's a salt. Yeah. Bad Grandpa's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Bad Grandpa's a good movie. Dirty Grandpa. Isn't that with uh, Robert De Niro? Yeah, that show's kind of funny. Uh, Zach Efron is not just a, like uh, the pretty kid. He's mm-hmm. pretty funny, man. Mm. Pretty, he's, got, he's got that uh, American Dad chin going on right now. He got a surgery. It looks weird, but he's got the American Dad chin going on. But On his chin? Yeah. Did you see? Did you guys see this? I saw an interview with Zach Efron. You know, the pretty kid. Have you seen his chin? Uh, it's like give me a movie Zach Efron. Zach Efron's uh, I don't know. What other movies is he in? Bad Neighbors. Okay, 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 okay. That guy, the pretty kid. Uh-huh. Look at his most recent picture, Marty. It is going to drive you insane. Look at oh, his jaw. God. Look at his jaw, bro. 
Why? He said he was drinking at home, woke up next to a counter with his jaw hanging off. What? Oh. He said he was running around his house, slipping, hit a countertop, bust his jaw open. He said he woke up covered in blood and his jaw was hanging. Oh, no. Oh, I don't know how God. real that is. Or you wouldn't do that on purpose. But if you did and you come with that story, now people are like, damn. You should have said, I'm Mickey Rourke and I was, I've been underground boxing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just had to fix the chin. It would have been harder than like, I was drinking SoCo, slipped in my socks. My chin ripped <laughs> off. Woke up with my chin off. <laughs> it's sad, dude. He was like the prettiest kid in Hollywood. Now it's like, I mean, he's still, now he just looks like, yo, I'm a soldier in every movie. Like I will rescue. You know what I mean? He looks like yeah. It looks like he, like a, a widening versus like yeah. an injury. It looks he looks like, like American Dad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A like, big American CIA agent. He should be the president now. Before being the president's son, now he protects the president. It's like what, a what happened? What did we go off? What happened? Why are we doing this? We're we're talking about him for some fucking reason. Oh, we're Ooh, talking about maybe? Cheech, and then we said, oh, old man, dirty yeah. grandpa, dirty grandpa, Zach Efron, chin, okay. spider webs. Okay. Um, it is hot in hell. It's hot in here. Um, so here we go. Continue. We had Cheech. And then right after we had John hash house episode with four hours, got age restricted on the upload. So please go watch that episode. I don't know how that happened. I mean, I know how it happened. I just, mm -hmm. people have been waiting for that one. It's like, damn, people are still saying this came out. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Anyway, uh, after that we had Benny the butcher, which was epic. Super epic, awesome episode. I was cheesing over that episode for at least two to three days afterwards. It was so dope. My boys from Buffalo were posting that one. That was a special one. It was so sick. Wow, what a cool ass dude. Him and his uh, cousin Jimmy. Actually, uh, like we said, we met up with them mm -hmm. a couple days later. Dropped off some weed because they were leaving town. And then they're like trying to smoke and in my head i'm like yeah i'm trying to smoke i've been bumping your album for nine months <laughs> like straight, straight. Yeah. like yeah i'm trying to smoke and then we're standing there he's like hey man we should do a 420 event together like, oh <laughs> run it so we're gonna figure all that out so hopefully griselda does usual something me you and og year. versus uh benny uh conway and west side gun in three what three. basketball uh -huh. i don't know if they're good at basketball that's the thing <laughs> You're good at basketball. I'll uh, shake somebody. Fucking thirty years ago, I'll shake somebody and pass it to you. Uh huh. And then I, yeah, we just feed and OG. Then OG the will be there, there, just shooting the ball. I bet OG's got a good little back down hook shot. I he probably does. He probably does. You never seen him play basketball? No, he only does this. You've seen when him shoot? He, no, he does this in his garage. Oh, <laughs> when, he, when he over he used to overtax people on pass. <laughs> as soon as they walk out the door, he go like that. <laughs> All right, got him. Uh, Every well, you see OG doing that, it means he just got off the phone and he he got over in I'm some way. <laughs> <laughs> and not even like in a bad way. It's like when he used to sell packs by twenty, sell for twenty two. This guy sell for twenty seven. Let's see if I can get it off. And he'd leave. Uh, <laughs> like, all right, who'd you get, motherfucker? That's oh, that's when I knew he got somebody. Like, but I'm like, you've done that to me, you piece of shit. Uh -huh. And then we found out the whole sell me a shitty pound story a couple years ago. Fucking OG. Um, yo, I, it's been a minute. I really just want to like Marty oh Power yeah, yeah, smoke yeah, yeah, a yeah. joint right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So that's that's what's been going on, guys. We've been playing catch up. Uh -huh. We've been having mad guests. Also, which the, I told you yesterday, so weird. Will Sasso texted me yesterday. Yeah, we're like stuff. becoming friends with the guests. Will Sass is awesome. We sent him a bunch of stuff. Uh, when he's on, he's going on tour. He's hitting us up. He's just, it's just weird. It's always so weird when you ever get on TikTok and goes, in your contacts, man. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, huh? That's right, Tony Hawk's my contact. <laughs> I always forget, man. Um, shout out to Mercedes to say today, the first time anybody's ever done that to me. We walked up, he goes, Aren't you the dude from Dope as Usual Podcast? He didn't mm. say, Aren't you Dope as Usual? He said, Aren't you the guy from Dope as Usual Podcast? I went, Oh, shit. He's only seen one episode, the AD one. He's all oh. since then, I've been watching. So I'm like, nice. all right, different, different fan base. They never even heard of our we shit first. That's awesome. That's what we want to hear. It's pretty cool. Um, so let me just recap real quick, real quick. So this is followed by the hex episode. So oh my god, followed by the hex episode, and then this one. We were supposed to have another guest episode today. Mm, go flood his page. Flight reacts did not show up today. Go flood his page. OG's doing a weed event with him tomorrow. 
<laughs> All right, OG has a weed event with him tomorrow. And I told him, when he gets there, you tell him, hey, what's up, man? What happened? It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, Flight Reacts, uh, supposed to be here today, didn't. So perfect timing for a solo episode. No, no, like, oh, damn. I want him on the show. But God, I want to talk shit for two hours, too. Mm-hmm. It's, been a, it's been a while since I've got to talk shit at the camera. Mm-hmm. I was kidding. Yeah, these these cameras don't know yet. Oh, they don't know. They're, they're about to get new guys. They're, yeah. they're gonna have to have <laughs> resin all <laughs> over them. Oh man, power smoking joints. Yeah, that'd be saying. funny if we went to resell our old cameras and there was just like I find just a layer of like reclaimed fucking resin. My sister went to ones. college. I gave, I, you know, I gave her my Honda to my dad. And she found push tree stickers and sticky dabbers underneath the floor floorboards. Oh shit! She's like, I was just cleaning the car, you know, for school. She's like, I found all this. Do you want to go? Uh, nah, you can throw it in the trash. Sorry, fucking <laughs> <laughs> dabs stuck under the carpet. How? The dabber wow. went through the side, around oh, and down. Oh god! Or I filled my trunk up so many times that it went through a crack. <laughs> I used to do a lot of drop offs in that car, so I get it. Um. Real quick, guys, I got to break it down for you. A little story time. All right. I went out of the country on my birthday. Rosie and John and and, and uh, Rachel, everybody set up like a, uh, a vacation thing. You guys know, I don't really care about vacations, but I'll go. I don't like planes. I'll go. I don't like water not getting in. You guys know this shit. Went to the Bahamas, right? Let's break it down for you real quick. I hate flying. We got the, the lay down seats where you just coughing up and I watched Princess Bride, Nacho Libre and Step Brothers. And then when I, before I knew it, I was in another country. So anyway, I'm in the lay down seat and right, Marty didn't tell you as I'm pressing, all right, don't freak out, just lay down. I see this dude in a suit, one of the first class lay down seats right next to me, piece of shit. First off, he's just sitting cross leg with like loafers reading a newspaper. Right off the bat, I'm 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 boy. I haven't seen a newspaper. <laughs> Thank you. He's gonna call me boy or, or or spick or something. Like I could see it on his face. Like you are wondering how I'm next to you. I know that's what you're wondering right now. Like how the fuck is this fool sitting next to me in first class? I like, like the look on his face. He might have been the nicest man on the world, <laughs> but like the appearance is like I'm gonna avoid you because if you you're mean to me, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. That's only talking to old people. They're racist. I'm gonna be an asshole, but you knocked an old man out. You'd hear what this motherfucker said to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was thinking it. <laughs> so that's why I just, just avoid it. Anyway, I know it's so sad. I'll, I'll get into it later. I avoid people because I'm afraid they're going to be a dick. Here we go. I'm laying down and I just stop. Like, are you fucking kidding me? The old man next to me has a newspaper. He's one, next to me and up one. So I can see what he's reading. I'm putting it down. It just says, Plane crash survivor talks about, oh, this is like, what the fuck? And it's just talking about plane crashes. He's reading a specific newspaper with two articles about plane crashes, and the guy's talking about how bad it was, and but he survived. As I'm going, oh, fuck, man, we're just we're barely looking in the air. And I was like, man, this is some bullshit. Give me a juice. And I got a juice, and that was pretty much the end of that, and I woke up. Well, I was, I was ha- in and out of sleep. Nacho Libre was still like, trying to make food and then at the end he was like driving the bus so i was like oh fuck i'm in and out of sleep um real quick nacho libre that's a real story i'm just throwing it out there it's what were we just talking about nacho libre oh we're that talking about the hex. Black. we're just talking about yeah, the hex. Yeah, yeah, yeah so we get there guys everything's cool i'm gonna say this now if you're from the bahamas i i apologize first off we have fans of the bahamas which is very cool shout out to you guys i don't remember your names i'm sorry i was drunk continue so when you think of the word Bahamas, you think of basically paradise. Right? I only think of Michael Scott doing the things in his beard, uh, beads in his hair, <laughs> coming back from Samuel's Jamaica. And all I think about is like, wow, you went to the islands? Was it fun? I'm going to say this now. I'm not talking about everybody. I went to a certain resort. You guys know, I don't say nothing to nobody. I don't talk to nobody. I went out of my way to say, good morning. Have a good day. To 40 different people. Marty, how many think? How many people do you think said hi to me back or acknowledged that I was a person? Judging by your tone, very few, like nine. It wasn't helping me. Like I don't even like talking to people. I said, "Good morning, bitch." You're not gonna say a fucking word to me. Oh, you're not helping this. 
you're making me go, that's why I don't talk to motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Was it a language thing? Speak English. It's an English speaking like country. First? Oh, okay. Yeah, the okay. British went and stole that shit. That's where they landed. That's right. right? Yeah, yeah. So that's the real America down there. It's a real America. So, I mean, there was a cashier. I was like, hello? Have, have a good day. And did this to me. Maybe the maybe they have like different body language in their culture. <sighs> she didn't even say a word back to me. Did she feel she was like the bitch on the annoyed? resort? I had to go there every day. She worked there every day. Every day she didn't say hello back or uh, acknowledge that I existed or nothing. Oh. Anyway, get over that. Smoking, chilling, cool, all that shit. Got on mopeds. Hey, you drive on the left side there. Never drove a moped, never drove on the left side. Not fun. The road. They let you just get in and go. Pro what? I don't have a license. I'm going 45 on the street. That's confusing. It was scary going left, and there's a lot of roundabouts. So I was like, "Uh, where do I get off? Fuck!" And I'm with John and them, <coughs> not obeying the traffic laws. So they're leading me. So I'm like, "Am I doing the right thing, or am I a bit like disobeying?" Like, are you trying to like keep up with them? Type of shit? Yeah. Oh, I was God. trying to keep up with them, dude. And they have no... What were you guys driving? Mopeds. Okay. Driving Fast. an ATV. The fastest you can go like 60. Jesus Christ. Okay. So we go to this fish fry place that I can't eat at. Anyway, so cool. We go there. <laughs> People are super nice. It's dope. But I'm looking around like... All you fools got watches on and shit. Did it feel safe or did it... Like it was cool. It was cool. Here we go. Okay. Got to nighttime where Rosie wasn't with me. It was like a couple of us went out. It was nighttime and we're, right, we're smashing. Just going around this town. We go around downtown. Stop. Like there's a live music thing. They're like, let's stop and check it out. I'm like, I don't give a shit, but okay. We're about to go there. And then there's that fight. The uh, Izzy fight was on. So we're going to go to the casino and go watch it. I'm pulling off taking a, like a short turn, like a quick turn, and I forgot I didn't put my helmet on, so I stopped to put my helmet on. Right when I stopped, two like dudes that live there or whatever goes, hey, you're riding late. I'm like, is it that late? He goes, you're riding late out here. It was like 11. Nobody else was out on the street but us. And he said it like, go home. That's how he said like, get the fuck out of here. What did it look like? Was it like third world style or was it just um, regular? No, no, it wasn't like third world style. It's like a, it's just a town, but 90% of the buildings were for lease. Okay. Did you, was there a bunch of sketchy people lurking around? It's not that there was sketchy people lurking around. It, it was, I don't want to say this. Everybody's super courteous and driving. They could tell we didn't know what the fuck we're doing. Everybody stopped. We just didn't do this. Let us run through red. It's just going hella polite. Everybody's such a polite driver there. So super duper obvious you guys are American. Oh, uh, bro, come on. <laughs> they're looking at us like they're going to get hit by a fucking car. Let them go. And remember, I'm on the left side taking a right on this highway. I'm like, how do I? All right, look back, look straight. All right, take a right. But do you have the right of way? Mm -hmm. Because you're taking a left. So the left is the right of way here, not the right is the right of way. And I was just sitting there like, you go, you go and I'll go. Like seven times I should got, we should have got hit by cars. <laughs> they should give you some instructions before they give you the moped. Anyway, um, remember guys, it's about six of us. John's going 65 in a fucking four-wheeler. Flying, flying. Everybody else, flying. I'm The only thing I'm thinking is we'll if I ball. fall off and <laughs> hit my fucking face, what we can't do the show for how long? I'm good. So I'm cruising at 40. 40 like this. It's a little moped, dude. Yeah. I could pick it up with me on it. It's like, are you on concrete or like I'm uh, on the gravel road? I mean, I'm on the con the asphalt. It's just a street. Okay. Yeah. And every time I see a speed bump, I hold on for dear fucking life because it goes. Da -da -da. One time I hit, bounced, scared the shit out of me. Anyway, I'm the sixth person back. I'm cruising. Remember, a lot of one way streets, and you drive on the left. So I was like, I'm gonna get on the right side. It's a one way street. I feel normal here. And then some little car pulls up next to me. Remember, I'm the last person. John's three, four blocks ahead. Rah! Can't hear me if I yelled. And I was like, yo, pretty sketchy back here. And I had that damn diamond necklace that oh, I just got. I'm God. like, oh, I'm not going to, I shouldn't have wore this. It was a present. 
I was like, damn, dude. Okay, I'm driving. We're heading back to the casino, and they're fucking flying. There was one point where me and John's brother got lost for 10 minutes, couldn't find anybody. We just found them at a McDonald's. It's at 11 o'clock and I just dusted us. Is there cops? Yeah, they're on mopeds. I mean, they're on uh, 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 segways. <laughs> what the fuck? They're crazy. Tall segways. segways. <laughs> like one wheels. In traffic and shit. Yeah, dude, on the sidewalks. It was a trip. There was a couple trucks, but like while we got in there, like cops on segways? Okay, continue. There's fools climbing trees and throwing coconuts down some on the side of the road, and there's fucking segways out here. You guys are advanced in the wrong way. Here we go. Cool country, though. Like People that were nice were fucking nice. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. say that much. People that were nice were nice. Maybe the people fuck. at the hotel were just annoyed. I think they were annoyed American with tourists. Americans. I know. Because when we went out, everybody was fucking nice as shit to us. Mm. Not one person was rude. Was there a lot of Americans around? No. The last day we were leaving to the airport, I noticed hell American fools. Sorry, continue. I'm riding my moped, ah, trying to keep up. And you know, everybody drives on the right side of the car. They don't drive on the left side of the car. Mm -hmm. The steering wheel's on the right side, like England. And you drive on the left side of the road, just like England, right? Okay. So I'm driving. And I, you know when you look to the car next to you in regular traffic and like you can see the passenger and then it goes through and then the person's driving. The fool's right fucking next to you. Yeah. So I'm like elbow to elbow. I'm like, oh shit, there's a guy with his elbow on his car like <laughs> right next to me. You don't think, I've never been on a motorcycle. I don't think about those things. I've never been that close flying that fast when like, I can smack you right in the fucking chest if I want. Right? So I'm like, ooh, and I see him pop up and I'm like, all right, man, why are you so close to me? And I look and he goes, hey. And I'm like, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm going like 40, and he goes, want to buy some cocaine? <laughs> and I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good, man. Thank you, though, man. I went, thank you, though, dude. And I kept going, he goes, hey. I'm like, fuck. Wait, this is while you're moving? While I'm going 40, in like just flying down the streets. He comes up next to me, hey. Do you want to buy some cocaine? <laughs> he said it like, this is my fucking house. He said it like, do you want to buy some cocaine? Oh. Very nicely, but like uh, you want to you want to buy some cocaine. Huh? That's exactly how he said it to me. I'm like, no, I'm good though. Thanks though, man. That's why I went. Thanks though, man, to make him like, oh, he's just some fucking tourist. And then I'm going two seconds later. Hey, hey what about marijuana? And I'm like, no, man. I'm, I didn't want to go. I got a shitload of weed. I didn't want him to be like, oh, so you got weed on you, huh? Uh -huh. I didn't want that. So what I did was like, no, I'm good, man. And I swear to God, for everyone, if everyone's driving, and you, you gotta watch this part later. I'm driving, he's driving, the motherfucker does this. Batman's into an alley. <laughs> does it look, what? looking at me, marijuana? No, okay. Goes down a fucking another street like he built the, the city. He didn't even fucking look and just went, all right, going 40. Turns directly down the street like a Grand Theft Auto game. Like when they the cold games go like this <laughs> and make direct 90 degree angles, the motherfucker Batman, when he goes in Michael Keaton off the building and he dips down and disappears when the guy's like, I swear to God, there was a bat. That's how I felt. The motherfucker just dipped off, off camera, off my sight. Hit the I, custody I, signal. I swear to God, he did. He went <laughs> and left. He didn't, he was looking at my eyes like, no marijuana? Okay. And just turned left. Damn. He could hit a wall. He was looking right at me. I was looking at him, man. I don't know how he did it. So either he does that 30,000 times an hour or... I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That slick, like... It, he didn't look and started doing the turn. Locked All eyes right, with you and shit as he was turning. And then I went, fuck this. Sit 60 until I caught up to everybody. Went, hey, don't fucking leave me out there. Dude, what if that fool just bumped me and just robbed me? Like, oh, I wouldn't have no chance at all. But uh, was it jungle or was it like normal city? Oh, you're in and the, in the city. middle, and in the middle, just hell palm trees, coconut trees. Oh, all right. yeah, it was it was a lot of grass area though, a lot of fields. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very odd. You I, been to Hawaii? Nope. Mm. It's the first time I ever went to the to the place with water and shit like that besides John's wedding. Hold on, continue. John and them know I don't go swimming. I don't go in the ocean. I don't give a shit. We got this gigantic boat, and I'm like, how far in the ocean are we going? They're like, dude, we're going to be like swimming distance from a fucking island. I go, oh, I'm not freaking out then. We got out there, 
and I'm looking, I'm like, I can see the bottom of the ocean. What the fuck? That means I see a shark coming. I ain't getting in that bitch. Still, like, you want me to see my fucking demise? No. Doesn't make it any better. And I'm the only human that's not in the water at this point. Oh. Even the babies are in the oh. water. I'm like, ah. <laughs> but they're in like a, a makeshift pool that has a net that you sit in the ocean with. That's cool. So we're sitting in there. They have jet skis going, sea bobs going. And I'm just like, I'm going to smoke a joint. So I have my joint ready. And I'm like, ah. We're fucking 80 yards from the shore. So Rosie goes off on the little sea bob. Sea bob's a little thing you hold. And you go, Vroom. you can go underwater. It's so fucking cool. And Rosie's like, yo, Tom, get Thomas. So I hop on the jet ski, go to the island. The island is 70 yards away. It's just an island with trees and a fence. And then in the ocean. And I smoked a fat ass joint donut. I smoked it. And I was just looking at the ocean. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm smoking a joint on an island. Never thought I'd even be close enough to the water for that. So I'm sitting there smoking a joint. I'm like, let me see that sea bob. I go one foot in the water, just so enough to keep me a foot like on the water. But so you're laying with I'm laying out. flat, and I just go, and I take off fifteen, <laughs> hooked. And I'm like, all right, let me go three feet in the water, and I go three feet in the water, and I look left, and it's just I've never been underwater. I've never been able to look underwater. Only in video games. I have that phobia of the water. Do you have goggles on? Yes, I have that phobia of uh, being in open water. Like even if I see fools diving on TV, I'll just change it. Like I'm gonna mm-hmm. throw the fuck up. It's just like a fear of like endlessness. Like I dicks can't fuck with mm-hmm. it. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, fuck it. I'll go five feet in. It's right here. Everybody's next to me. Fuck it. I go down. I'm going like 15. I dip. And right when I dip, I go through a school of fish. <laughs> and I'm looking left to right. And there's a school of fish swimming around my body. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This is insane. And they're all transparent fish. So you can see through them almost. And I was looking around. I looked down. It's a big ass log covered in coral. I'm like, this is the ocean. This is fucking awesome. And I came up and I was fucking hooked. Was it easy to operate? Yeah, you just press it and move like this. And it drags your body. And if you want to dip, you just look down and you'll go. You want to go up? You go. It's fucking. It's like having. I described it as in Space Jam when Michael Jordan gets taken into the, a hole. Ah, that's how it is. Like you're just ah, hanging on to something. So I go like ten feet out, and I was like, "Fuck it, let me go ten feet out." And I start swimming in circles, and I, I'm, I could not believe I was in the ocean. Shocked me, blew my mind. Smoking the joint, sitting there smoking the joint. I'm like, "Oh my god, this is crazy." I'm out there for like two and a half hours, just on the shore though. I'm I'm good, and then I'm like, you know what? I'll go back to the boat and I'll get something. That, that's a good test. It's like 80 yards. That's a good test. Everybody's doing stuff. There's other boats there. So I'm not like, there's no sharks right here. This is the place they bring the tourists because of that reason. Okay. I get fucking 30 yards and just froze. I froze up. <laughs> I got 30 yards and I went, ah! And then I curled my legs up no. and I just held the button like this and it just, in a ball, dro- brought me back. I just like held my feet and I just went like this. It looks so stupid. You're supposed to be laying out fucking yeah, and I'm in flying. a ball like this, closing my fucking eyes, just looking at the shore like, okay. Just, uh, uh, fucking nasty. I hate the water. Anyway, continue. Rosie went like 90 yards out. I was losing my mind the whole fucking time. It's just so scared because I'm like, if something happens, I got to go out there. Okay, a couple questions. Can you, is there a battery monitor on this fucking thing or can Yeah, it? you can. Okay. There's a battery life on the side. You can see it. It uh, lasts like three hours. Are your four hands hours. like fastened in or you can. It'll stop the second you let go. Oh, okay. It, it, it's a throttle. You'll gotcha. never get away from you. It how, floats. How deep can you go? As deep as you want, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're going 15 miles an hour, just going. <laughs> you're, like, you're fucking Aquaman. You're Poseidon. So, I've done jet skis on lakes, never on the ocean, obviously. So at the end, at the very end, I'm like, all right, I'll get on the jet ski. Jet skis on the ocean is way different. I was going 60 on that bitch, and there was waves coming, and I went, "What happens if I hit a wave? Am I gonna start flipping?" Nope. You just put your weight into it, cut right through it, cut right oh, through shit. fucking big waves. <laughs> It was wild, man. I stopped completely, turned the bitch as far as I could, and gassed it and was doing fucking donuts and ah, Was somebody filming all this? I don't know. Probably. Me and John were out there. And we were fucking doing cir- dir- circles with each other, causing like all these crazy ass waves. And then I just went as fast as I possibly could, hit like 65. And, and then I got to the point where I was flying back and I almost couldn't hang on. So I just, I just stopped. Mm. 
And that was the ocean, guys. I got in the fucking ocean. That's it. Nice. Got in. Don't have no desire to do it more unless it's stuff like that. But fuck it, I finally got in the ocean, guys. Never in my life did I think I'd be in the fucking ocean. Ever. Past my Michael Jordan's house. He has a house right there. In the Caribbean? Bahama, yeah. You could just see it from the water? I remember seeing it because I was like, that's Michael Jordan's. I go, oh, that is the Michael Jordan's house. Because I saw a TikTok of him, people taking a cruise, and he waved him when he was on his fucking, he was just smoking a cigar on his back porch. Mm -hmm. That's the ocean. Wow. And I'm like, oh, fuck, that is Michael Jordan's house. Mm -hmm. um, if Would you want a place down there to, like... Is, could you be like, yeah, oh, no, I'm cool. lives here. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a billionaire. Mm -hmm. I don't like planes. If planes, if you could just go like, yo, it's triple, but you can press a button, you'll just be there. Like, you like Willy Wonka, bitch, you can fucking TV me over there. Do it. Run it. <laughs> Fuck this chocolate <laughs> bar. Take my shit. That little cowboy kid was a little piece of shit in Willy Wonka. Fuck that kid. <laughs> Sorry. What's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is MyBookie. Whether it's UFC, baseball, football, or basketball, make sure you're betting with MyBookie. Do us a favor right now. Click the link in the description no matter what platform you're watching. The link in the description. Follow that. Bet $50, and you're going to get $200 instantly credited to your account. Bet $50, get $200 back. Even if you lose that $50, at least you got the $200 credit. Listen to what I'm saying, guys. It's a win-win, win-win situation. Also, UFC 294, October 21st is coming up. Go ahead and bet right there. Marty and I, we're going to go spend some money. Even if it's just fun to watch the fights and hope you win, you forget you, you could possibly win a bunch of money too. That's one thing we didn't consider. I know it's betting, but it's like, it's more fun than anything. Slot games, live casino, table games. There's much more than just betting on sports. But remember, if you're going to bet anything, anywhere, anytime, make sure it's with my bookie. Once again, click the link in the description, bet 50 bucks, that first deposit 50 bucks, you automatically get $200 credit to your account. Once again, shout out to my bookie. Thank you for watching. What's up, guys? Taking a moment from this long-ass episode to talk about one of our brand new sponsors. You've seen him in previous episodes. This is Zotix. And also, that giant joint we smoked with Cheech, that was also all the Zotix flavors. So if you want to see the store locator, uh, more information about each strain, yes, they have each strain broken down on their website. Go to Z-A-T-I-X-420.com. That's Zotix420.com. Are you fucking shitting me? That's fucking Damn, this looks beautiful. I, we dead stopped in my tracks. I had to really pause for a second. <laughs> this is the OG Diesel. Very cool bag. This shit looks incredible. Hi Chris 420 or Chris is the founder of Zotix. He actually has his own YouTube channel. You can watch a bunch of informational videos. He's uh, in the wholesale market for over 20 years. One of the first wholesale distribution licenses. So what we're trying to say is thank you Zotix for sponsoring the show, but also crushing it, doing a great job. If you see him at events, go let him know you saw him on the Dope As Usual podcast. Go follow their Instagram, Zotix underscore lifestyle. Thank you guys so much for supporting the brands that support us. Back to the episode. So now you're out of the ocean? I, oh, okay. I'm on a lazy river, doing my thing, on a lazy river in the thing, and I have my, I have all my stuff, my phone, my this, my that, because I, I didn't go to the room. I didn't know there's a lazy river. I'm like, fuck it. I'm like, just don't fall, bro. Don't tip. I make it all the way to the end. And the next thing I know, I'm pushing my fucking face off the bottom of the lazy river with my phone in my hand. And I come up, lose my glasses in the lazy river. One of my slides is gone. My phone's just soaked. And I'm looking up at the sky like, yo, this is the fucking worst first day. And the guy found my glasses and my shoe and then my phone worked still. So it was a great day. <laughs> and I started walking around and met some fans. They were fucking shocked. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck, bro? Came with my family. Didn't expect to see you. I'm like, oh, I'm just killing. I'm just chilling. Uh, a couple of the workers were like, you're like a YouTuber guy I watch. I go, oh, yeah, man. Like, is that you? I'm like, Depends. Who are you watching? It's like, oh, yeah, that's me, man. I never just go, yeah, that's me, ever. It, is because it normally, are they asking if you're you? or are Always. They just like, you look just like a YouTuber guy. A lot of fools say that. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What's that? Like, is that, is that you? All, all the time. All the time. Unless people know, recognize my mm -hmm. shirt or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, in, in the Caribbean, it was cool. They were actually fans. It was pretty dope, man. Somebody that April grew up with wrote her on Facebook and was like, I was in an Uber in Florida and mentioned I was from Buffalo. And the dude's like, my favorite YouTuber's from Buffalo. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was the first time I actually heard myself referred to as a YouTuber. That was fucking funny. I mean, I guess so. You're not a Spotifyer. 
I mean, by preference. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it doesn't, it, it, Spotify is not like the, ca- yeah, yeah, the yeah, video yeah. thing. Uh-huh. I guess you are a YouTuber, Marty. I so. Rapper to father to YouTuber. Uh huh. But, uh, like yeah, that. exactly. While you were in the Bahamas, I did have a real nice meeting with Spotify. Oh, that's right. I explicitly right. told them what we need to do to start being able to build the community on Spotify. So, first of all, shout out to them for all their continued support. Shout out to them for putting motherfucking brown bag pot on Times Square. Saw that. Boards, official shit. Uh, I lit the wrong joint. Sorry. All good. Sure. Just realized right now. And for taking our feedback and asking how we could make things better on Spotify. And I told them the way to make it so YouTube doesn't have a monopoly on young long form video is to let us have likes, comments, lives, premieres, let us talk to the fans, build the community. So if, if Spotify adds comments, likes, dislikes, lives, or premieres, thank this fool. Hopefully. For real. It would really help out. Because they, they, that's the second year in a row we're like, you know what would be really helpful? Likes. But this time was different. This was the whole, their whole, the whole team. programming yeah. team. Now they know. Spotify yeah. knows that like, oh, you guys are you guys are here. I'm like, yeah, we're, we're not just saying, you know, women don't do this and men don't do that. Bitch. <laughs> we're not doing that shit. Just so just, I mean, I'm not saying that's bad. But there's more to it than that. Yeah. And Sometimes. the same week, we did a motherfucking interview with the New York motherfucking New York Times. Times. <laughs> Give me a check mark. Wait, we bought it. Never mind. <laughs> I, forgot, I haven't said that in so long. <laughs> I bought all my check marks. They're like, yo, here, you little bitch. I'm like, fucking just sell it to me. Well, let you pay us. <laughs> let me pay you. That's pretty much what we asked them. Um, this doesn't taste like the lemon. This is the horchata. Mm. I buy oh. one horchata joint mm-hmm. and mix it up in all of those and pick the only fucking one that wasn't lemon. Mm. I just saved it as a as a taste breaker mm-hmm. fuck it all right here we go Ooh, we got the bills right. in london this weekend in london yes games at goddamn 6 a.m anyone from uk that watches please tell us if you give a fuck about football the oot not the ub football f-o-o-t oh gotcha. not the original <laughs> football that we stole Gotcha. Football yeah. and Indians land. And coming up Ameri- this week, Native I think, Americans. we're going to start getting in that place and some motherfucking bets. Well, we got some bets going. Um, I fell off of football. Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of UFC lately. Yes. A lot. Oh, it's my first fucking cage fight. Oh, yeah. I didn't even hear about that. I didn't even ask you about that. We got fucking fans and dudes that run it watch our show and they gave me their number and they said please come next time we'll give you a table. Remember I told you? Yeah. This kickbox fight we're gonna we we're, we're gonna go. Sorry, forgot to tell you about that. There are fans, which is fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Like the dudes that came and play, hey man, watch your show. I'm like, thanks. Thank you. Um Okay, let me say something else. <laughs> I was at the fight. And the story time when my, my dealer, John, uh, disappeared. Remember I said I owed him 20 bands? And the last thing I ever did was meet his girl at a taco shop and gave it to her. And she said she just still didn't know where he was. Ooh, fuck. So I'm sitting there at the fight. I'm in the fucking front row. And over the cage is like the fighters, chill, homies, or people doing work. Or I look at this girl, I'm like, is that you? I'm like, I know faces. I'm fucking good at this. And she looked at me like, I looked away. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I don't want to say her name, but I'm like, is that you? And it kind of felt like I was like being a perv because I kept looking at her. Yeah. But I'm looking at every crease of her face like, I remember that. How long no, ago? No, you didn't know that. 12 years ago. So like, I don't know that. I don't know that in your face. That's you. I know it. And OG told me later, he's like, hey, that girl just, was just taking a picture of you. I'm like, for mm. real? She's like, she zoomed in and took a picture of me. I was like, that's her. That, that's got to be her, dude. It has to be. But I'm thinking like, I'm not trying to be a fucking weirdo. But she was taking a picture mm. of the fight. And I'm so obsessed right now at the fight. Like, is that you? Where is, like, where is John? Like, where is he? He's so still missing. Would you not go up and talk to her? I didn't want to make it weird. 
in case because she didn't she didn't she made a point to not like make eye contact yeah 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 right this is what fucked me up are you ready he's been gone for about 12 years i fully believe she knows where he's at and he's just on the run <laughs> fuck Ble bleep that all right i think he's just disappeared because he's <sighs> I almost said it again because he's in trouble. <laughs> God, Jesus Christ! Because he's in trouble. That was so stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, he's on the run because when I saw her, you don't know where he's at. She's like, I haven't heard from him. And the way she said, it, I was like, bitch, you know way more than you're saying. But his mom is crying, putting up ads. Please let her know that he's not dead. Oh. Like, you should say some shit. Like, well, not me. I'm his homie. At least let his brothers know. They're putting them all missing person signs. Like, this is not cool. Is he the type of person that would put, would like allow that to go on to them? He don't know that. He's gone. I mean, what would he, would he just assume that they would think he's dead? I don't know. But I guess it might be the most closely. Or something. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that we've talked about it, but the people that were looking for him, like, were constantly calling his moms, constantly calling my homie Ryan, constantly calling Wingstop, where Ryan was a manager, trying to fucking find him, calling his little brother's job daily. Yeah. They don't know where he's at. If they're calling Wingstop for fucking information, <laughs> they're not. They don't yeah. know where he's at, you know? So, anyway, sorry, I'm sitting there and I noticed she's taking, and I'm, I, like I said, I felt like a creep because I kept looking at her. I kept looking at her. And she's taking a picture of the cage. And whether or not I'm right or wrong, it's just something I thought of. Took a picture and closed it off. And when she closed it off, there was a picture of like a 10 year old blonde kid on her phone. My homie's a blonde haired blue eye guy. Okay. It's like, is that a picture of your fucking baby on your phone? Is that a picture of your son that you, is that your kid? Is that my homie's kid? Where is he? That's all I kept thinking like, Oh, There's a God. blonde boy on your fucking phone, you Mexican chick. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's her. I know gotcha. it's her. She's sitting right there the whole night. Won't she just doesn't even look. That one night, I'm sitting there going, "How big is this is venue? That you? Is this like it's a pretty big okay casino fight a fight thing?" But she's right next to us, like right there. But I see her taking the picture. I'm just like obsessing over, like, "Is that you?" I don't want to make it weird because she's had her boyfriend with her. Hey, I knew your old boyfriend. Is that you? That's not his kid. Like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to go. Were you guys friends? I knew her, me and her boyfriend. You and her. Were you friends? Uh, yes. All right. Yeah. I would say that. But you haven't seen her on Instagram or anything since then? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's just not an Instagram person. Mm -hmm. Her brothers hated John. They're all gangbangers. They used to shoot at each other. All that shit. Remember I told you? I don't know if I tell on here, but anyway, gangbanging ass brothers. Um, hated the boyfriend? Oh, fucking despised him. Oh, shit. Yeah. And, and uh, oh, there's, there's a shitload of joints right here. I don't know why the fuck we're sitting here <laughs> sharing a roach. Oh, my God. We have fat ass yeah. joints right here. Yeah, we got no weed for days. Exotics. There's a box <laughs> of weed exotic. from Exotics. Thank you, guys. Um, so that threw, blew my mind when I was, I was a blonde boy on your phone like a school picture like that's your kid you don't just have like a homie's kid on your phone is her new boyfriend mexican or mexican is shit okay so i'm like that's not his kid mm -hmm. i know it was her i didn't bring it up i asked rosie right before we left I'm like hey if you see her can you just ask her if that's her if what's her name is what her name is and if it is just look at me and i'm gonna walk over there Dang. but we didn't see her after kind of got kind of got commotion i started taking pictures of some fans and shit Bro, it fucked me up. I'm sitting there watching the fight and doing this. Thinking of all the things like, I hope that fool's alive. Mm -hmm. I wonder what he's doing. Is that you? Like, and then like, and the kid on the phone. Like, I kept thinking of all these things like, is this real? You know what I mean? Like, when you wake up from a dream going, is that fuck? Oh, yeah, I was yeah, dreaming. Because yeah. I've never been to a fight. What are the odds? It's so what random. are the odds? Yeah. And then the thing that got me was, no, Tony told me, he's like, yeah, I saw that girl just taking pictures of you. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I saw her doing this when I was walking back. She was snapping pictures of your face. Like, oh, oh, God. She was probably sending it to her brothers like, yo, is this Thomas? Uh-huh. 
or I mean, if homeboy is still alive, or to him, were you guys like really great friends? Yes. Would he try to contact you or no? Like, he's not contacting his mom, bro. Yeah. Or his little brothers. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm gonna say it now. Let's just come back. <laughs> it's not that much money. Now. You know, back yeah. then it was. Now it's like, let's work for a few to months. To have your life back type of shit? Have your life back. Wow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think. It's just, it's just, I, I don't know. I was thinking about him the other day and then I saw all that. I was like, what the fuck? Was he like a regular dude or was he like wild gangbanger type of dude? No, he's a white, blonde hair, blue eye drug dealer. Super cool. Mm. Super awesome. Mm-hmm. Like funny shit. Just awesome as fuck. Just like drugs a lot like pills way too much mm. and then the reason he got in with the gangbangers is because he was supplying all these fools with packs all the time because they were his girlfriend's little brothers and they were gang gotcha. banging ass fools mm. i know one of them he's fucking awesome but he'll shoot you mm-hmm. um and what happened they kept getting into it he got in with some northerners and he got into it with some other northerners and then some and then he was chilling with the southerners and shit probably shouldn't go too into everything but my homie was down as fuck like he's not a gangbanger, but like it's a lot of that one color you're wearing today, huh? Oh <laughs> shit! I know where you're going. Yeah, what's that? He's chill uh, with a lot of Asian gangbanger fools. So he you wore, might not be a hooker, but you're wearing the uniform. But you're wearing the uniform. Yeah. I may look like an officer <laughs> just because I dress this way. Yeah, um, he chill with a lot of Asian MOD gangbanger blue crip fools. So he was very affiliated with everybody. But he was man, he was cool, man. He was cool as fucking dude, and. uh how old was he when this all happened? When he was gone, he was 24. Two years older than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was 22 when he was gone. And there was a bunch of shit going on when he disappeared? or I mean, so much? I knew because I was the one making sure he was alive. But was he on like, as in like... No, what happened is he, he was getting 100 packs, boxes. But 100 packs at 3,000 a piece. That's 300 bands. Be careful. And he was just doing too many oxys. And he would lose track of time, lose track of money, lose track of... There were so many times I'd give him 10 bands. like, what? I'm like, for the pounds, dude. I'm only saying 10 is a flat number because it yeah. was never just 10. <laughs> yeah, give me the one that's 1,200 and the one that's 1,800. Yeah, right, fool. It's fucking 39 or it's 34. Or it's fucking. Yeah. It was, I was just saying even numbers to be even numbers. There's never been 10 bands I've ever bought any drugs for. And uh, there'd be times you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you got no idea. I could ask you to front me 30 and you would have had no idea I got them from you. And you know, I t- I've talked about it before. I'd walk in, he'd be passed out, like doors open, 200 bands worth of weed just sitting on the fucking door. <laughs> it's careless. What happens is he's fucking careless, got selfish. Mm. How much space does 200 bands worth of weed occupy? Not that, that much. Like, like right there. Knee level. Gotcha. At 3,000 a pound. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fucking 100 pounds, 120 pounds at most. Mm hmm. Not much. Um, he was only making fucking three three points, and 300 bucks on a pound. It's not like he was going oh, hard. But he was I, doing 300 what? pounds sometimes at a day. Because he's, he's, oh. he's dropping them off like, you want a 10 pack? You want a 20? You want a 20? Ah, I'll put three bucks on each. Cool, I made three, pa- three bands. Breaking them down, he's going to make three bands a pack. Yeah. Gotcha. Or he can just like, here's a box gone. Here's another 100 pounds. Here's another 20 gone. Jesus here's another 20 Christ. gone. Here's another 20 gone. My rent is 1,200. Yeah. I made 1,200 in nine minutes. Mm-hmm. You see how, how how it works out that yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, your joint. Is it is like is it hard to find uh, people to buy in that volume like that? It's got to be right. <sighs> yeah, unless you want to deal with fucking fools you don't want to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know how we got us on topic. Oh, the fight, cage fight was sick. I never seen nobody get. I never seen leg kicks in person. Oof. You can hear them like twigs breaking. It's like a bat. It's like a bat hitting a leg. A leg? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think, what's soft that would like a pig leg? Like, well, a human leg, you fucking idiot. You don't, man. No, I'm good. Oh my no God. thanks. I saw a guy. Here we go. I saw a guy come up, physical peak condition. Peak human. Peak human. Twelfth fight. Saw his opponent. And I went, sir, where do you keep Zelda? Where's the Zelda at in this game stop? 
That's what the shit you should be asking the opponent. The man was 35 years old, first fight. 6'1", 200 pounds with no muscle on his body. Wait, and he just... And he was his first fight. He was fighting the peak physical human man. That's scary. It wasn't fair, bro. So he's like a dad who's been like doing jujitsu type he's of shit? He's definitely not a dad. Okay. He's one of those dudes who just works at GameStop, doesn't have a girlfriend, just chills, which is totally cool. Those guys are cage fighters. This guy was like, yo, I beat the shit out of a guy at a grocery store trying to steal. I think I could fight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, nah, bro, beating up a fucking tweaker homeless man versus beating up 19 year old Justin is different. The fight was a minute and 40 seconds. No, 155. And you ever seen Christmas Story? You ever yeah. seen when Ralphie loses his shit yeah, on him? Yeah. That's exactly what the oh. fuck happened. <laughs> Art Farkas got the shit beat out of him. The guy was long red hair. Oh, nice. By the time he stood up, his nose was broken, split, both eyes almost shut. Oh, God. The guy's never fought less oh. than two minutes, and there was a gap in his nose. Oh. Is there a worse fucking job to have? <laughs> oh, as I'm watching these guys fight, I go, don't ever want to do this. I don't ever want to do this. Because there's one guy in there that was throwing question, question, question mark, mark kicks. kicks yeah. And he was throwing it and he question mark kicked the guy in the cheek. And I saw <laughs> spit and sweat like Rocky because it was the backlit mm. from the light. Mm -hmm. I saw the sweat go and I went, never in my life do, am I this tough. I do, well, maybe I am. I don't want it. I don't, I can't wrap my mind around how their pain tolerance is so high. I'm waiting for the day you see one of these fighters just fucking burst out in tears mid fight. Just cause Bob the Sapp. shit fucking hurts so Bob bad. Bob Sapp cried in the ring. Did he? You know Bob I, Sapp? Yeah. He cried. Okay. When, uh, when, uh, uh, I almost said Ivan Drago. <laughs> <laughs> when Marco Krokop broke his fucking eye socket. Mm. He punched him in the eye and, and broke his orbital bone. <laughs> yeah. Bob Sapp cried in the fucking ring. Oof. The guy, Bob Sapp is the guy that cries in the longest yard. You broke my nose. The big guy that picks up the bench. He's a fucking fighter. Destroying Asia. Then Marco Krokop comes and breaks his fucking face in in one jab. Oh. Crushed his over the bone full, hits the ground and starts sobbing. Yeah, his face broke. But he cried like in the movie. And I was like, whoa. Good actor, just like you did in the movie. <laughs> I feel bad for him, dude. Get your orbital bone smashed. Oh, oh man, that's my face. And you then broke you my lose. Face. Oh, he uh, he lost as he got hit. He was over, bro. And then for most fighters, yeah, you're walking away with barely like, any money, your reputation, everybody in your personal life. You've been like hyping up, yeah. But dude, saw the guy from GameStop just get whooped. What did he do to him? Like. Oh, he just beat the dog shit out of him. Slammed him on his fucking head. The guy covered up as long as he could. But he just started getting the one arm on the... He's holding him down. So the guy's on top of him, one arm on the hand. And just oh. hooking his fucking nose to the left. <laughs> just smashing him. And I'm sitting there going, I kind of don't like watching this. Yeah. Me and Rosie at the end went, did you feel bad? Mm -hmm. I felt bad every fucking fight. Mm. Every fight as I'm watching the guy go, oh, I'm going to get my ass whooped. You can see it on their face that they know they're done. It's not cool. It's fucked up. Actually, it made me feel like when I fought people and I'm beating the shit, I'm going to go, oh, I'm a bully now. Like, I, I, Somebody gets crucifixed and they get their hands pinned down and then the dude just starts unleashing. I on saw a face. guy That's get an arm bar so violently tight. I thought his arm was going to break and I looked away. Mm. Then he got out of it. Don't know how the fuck he got out of it. Marty, this bone looked like it was pushing through. Ugh. Like his arm was completely locked out and he just did this one. He ah, arm got muscled a, it back? Uh-huh. Well, with his arm, he clamped his arm on this oh, wrist geez. and got yeah. himself out of it. Oh. Anyway, watched a fight. Whoa. <laughs> well, there was like six fights. Wow. So oh, I saw a full kit. Molly whopped so hard he just hit the ground. Then he just started. He just finished him off. I'd never seen anybody get hit like that. Were you close enough to be getting like sweat dripped on you and shit from? For sure. That's the irony of having like expensive seats at the fucking fire. There was a no, there, all the all the the staff was there and they were the first row. But gotcha. wow, we need to go to UFC, Marty. 
we really, really need to go to UFC, and we're going to throw paper airplanes at Joe Rogan and go, hey, it's Marty. Go, oh, Marty, come down here. Be our co-host. Daniel Cormick, get out of the street. This guy's going to smoke joints with me, and that's exactly what's going to happen. You know what's fucked up? I've no, been kidding. listening to Rogan in D.C. for so long that I think, like, listening to them commentate that I think like them, and I say the shit that they say right before they say it. So when we're watching UFC, I'm commenting, I'm commentating basically what's about to happen. Just as if, like, I say the same, it happens all the time. It's like a running joke at the house because I'm just like programmed to view the view it like they taught me how to watch it, you know? So yeah. it's like, if you wouldn't know better, I almost sound like I know what I'm talking about when I'm watching UFC. <laughs> I almost sound. <laughs> um, but yeah, the fight was great. Still 98% sure that that was my homie's old girlfriend. And if that's the case, the kid on that phone is my homie's friend, my homie's kid, because it's the right age. It's the right age. Like on her lock screen type shit you saw. Took the picture and then she turned it on and she was bringing it down. I'm like, oh, fucking blonde kid. Blonde little blonde kid. Same fucking hair. Same fucking this color. This sounds hair, like a man. dream. Same fucking color hair, man. I, I, I'm doing this to Rosie the whole time. Are you fucking kidding me? She's going, I can't believe that. Like, if that's her, this is crazy. I'll see her next time. The ring guy, that was her boyfriend, the guy on the side. Oh. She'll be there again. And I'm going to ask. Oh, shit. For sure. I can't let it go twice. And the whole time I'm like, what am I doing? What's he going to do? How's this going to help anybody except fuck her up? You know, she ain't do nothing wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I don't know how to feel. The exact right age. So how did uh, the dude that you know do fighting? <laughs> Oh, I never met any of the fighters. Rosie's boxing coach, uh, he trains two of the fighters. That's why we went. Oh, I thought he was fighting. Gotcha. No, 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 no. I didn't know anybody that was fighting. But it was dope. It was at Commerce Casino. There's a casino here in LA. It's, oh. Dude, we went. It was a casino. It was a fucking ring. It was pretty sick. It's like going to Vegas, but like just here. Mm -hmm. Not really like Vegas, but it was tight. There was people gambling. Anyway, sorry. Continue. What else has been going on since then? Here we go. Let's get into this. Let's get into this, guys. How long are we at? An hour? Clean. Shit. All right. So, you guys ready for this one? <laughs> Sounds about 19. I thought I was just a little bitch. Story time. My pain tolerance is that of children. I can't take finger pokes when I go to the doctor. I avoided going to the doctor for seven years so I didn't have to get a needle. I have a phobia of needles. Just, I don't like being stabbed. I don't like things being inserted into my skin and body. No, not for me. So my whole life, it makes me gag. Like, oh, my God, there's a fucking piece of metal inside of me. It's injecting shit. Take it out. Anyway, I might take. So that, that, right? But, you know, hitting fools in football, getting stingers, crushing my shit. Fucking having the couch fall on me during fucking moving stuff. Fools crushing Football, uh, you know, wrestling and slamming my fucking head, skateboarding, all that shit. I'm like, ow! Who cares? It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. But needles? Oh, give me a paper cut. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Can I fuck you up real quick? Go. Yesterday, April came home. I was mortified. It looked like she got attacked by a goddamn German shepherd or some shit. She got a micro needling treatment done. Where? At some fucking place. No, like place. where? Like on her face. <gasps> I've it, seen that shit. The blood, the blood thing. Yes, yes. She's like Hellraiser. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it was horrifying. I was it didn't like, hurt though. No, no. It looked like she got attacked by like a pack of leeches type of shit. It was three days. Her face will be new though. Yeah, it, it went away right away. But that's that's the ultimate uh, needle shit. Where I don't even know what that entails. I got acupuncture the other day. Oh Let me tell god! You. Let me even tell you. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I've seen somebody with the blood face facial thing. It's disgusting. Right? Little straight bitch when it comes to pain, I think. Here we go. So my back sucks. I say that a lot. My back hurts. Back hurts. The first time I was 19, I was putting my shoe on to go to work at me and Ed's, and I stood up and went... <gasps> And I fell. And the first thing I thought was Hank Hill. The episode where he has horrible back pain. When I was a kid, I saw it go, people have back pain? 
Well, I'm not going to be like that when I'm old. First thing I thought was like, oh, I ain't kill. Couldn't put my fucking shoe on. I had to call off work for the first time in my life. Back went out. Never felt that, right? Back to parents, I was 19. Throughout the years, my back hurts. Back hurts. There's be times where I, like, I'm walking around and I have to tie a shirt around my waist so fucking tight so it holds pressure on my hip because it feels like something's pushing out of my hip. But when I go like this, you ever see me in videos do this? I just like press on my hip. It's because something feels like it's popping out. So that's my way of like trying to fix it. Uh, helping Omar move. My back went out. I tied something around my waist. Perfectly fine. Second, take it off. I can't even walk. It's like some. It's like a, someone adds five inches to my right hip, and I, I'm stuck on one side, and I can't. I can't move my hips back. Anyway, back hurts. Uh, right before we moved to Merced, neck hurts. But that's when I started doing Instagram. I was doing thousands of comments a day. I was doing every single comment on YouTube. Every single thing. I was on my phone for 16 hours a day, like this. So my neck would start to get stiff. And it really started to hurt, right? I was doing the moving still. How many times I said I pick up a damn couch and use my neck as the leverage and hold the couch like this because you can't really do it over your head because it hurts. Stick it to the side of your neck. You can hold a whole couch on your shoulder. Full stick bullshit. <laughs> so continue. My neck hurts. Went to the doctor and this is the story about the doctor that said, uh, oh, you smoke marijuana? Oh, how do you even know how your neck feels if you're always high? I can't treat you if you smoke weed. That doctor, that story time where I talked about it, it was Rosie's family doctor. I called her stupid bitch in the most polite way. Anyways, not my doctor anymore. She was like, your neck's fine. I'm not giving you an x-ray. How do you know you're smoking weed? You don't even know what you feel like. That's shit. You don't even know what you feel like is what she told me. I know my neck hurts. So I started going to the, to the um, chiropractor slash deep tissue masseuse, right? Sorry, long story. Even she was like, something's wrong with your neck. You got like... Uh, something going on with your shoulder, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, she would rub, she did my neck, rubbed it out, the huge knots, got rid of them. Came to LA, neck still hurting, you know. I deal with it. I have to do those comments. I have to do comments. I have to talk back to people. So I started doing this one. Like put my head back and commenting like this. I do a lot of comments when I get in the shower in the morning. So the hot water's on my back, so my back doesn't cramp up. Yeah, fuck you for everyone saying I don't give a shit about these comments. I really do that shit. Anyway. Back hurts. Back goes out twice a year where I can't walk for a couple days or I don't want to walk because it hurts so bad. Happens. What's the story? Remember when we first started the podcast? My dad's here. My back went out. My dad chilled for a week and a half. Blah, 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 blah. All that shit, right? In August, my back went out again. It happens twice a year. Just about same time. Back went out again. I couldn't get up my stairs. Like, the second I put pressure on my right hip, I swear to God, it's like someone was just yanking a knife out of my back. Like, I know what pain, I feel pain, but like, yo, what the fuck? That's like structural pain. Like, I can't move my hip. So I had to put all my weight on Rosie, and she helped me up. I hopped up the stairs. And then what was it, like 12 days I was out, right? Mm -hmm. I laid in bed for five and a half days straight. Didn't move, tub to bed, tub to bed. Could not move. Found a chiropractor, full did fucking nothing for me. Found a disc specialist, a spine specialist, right? So here we go, guys. I'm going to get into this little story. I've been going to the spine specialist since about a week before the last solo episode. Mm -hmm. So I've been going to the spine. Spine. All right. It's called Spine Anatomy. The reason I'm even talking about it. Spine Anatomy. Went and got my x-rays done. I mean, not x-rays. My MRIs done. You guys ready for this? My back hurts. My back hurts. I, every time we get out of this chair, I go, oh, shit. Sometimes I laugh and videos go, oh, fuck. Because I'm trying not to let it hurt my brain. Because it hurts so bad that sometimes I'll be sweating in a video because I'm just trying to hold it in. Not because I'm hot most of the time. Because I'm like, you know when fools get like sweats from breaking a leg? That's what I feel like sometimes. I'm like, all right, my back season right now. Like, like right now, my left side's kind of seasoned up. We got to get new chairs. But like it's seasoned up. It hurts. Who cares, right? I'm a little bitch. I can't tolerate pain. I go get my MRIs because I walk in like your pain level is what? I go nine. Like, all right, so this is the worst. Like, it fucking hurts. Yesterday was a 10. We needed to do something. Got my MRIs on my lumbar. Got my MRIs on my cervical and my th thoracic. That's your whole spine. I was not wrong. I wasn't wrong. All the time I say, yo, my back feels like it's fucking breaking. I can't. Most of the time, I'm like, I can't sleep because I can't lay on my back because my, my back hurts. 
but I can get on my hip. And once I get on my hip, my back stops hurting. But then my hips get shifted off. But I can't lay on my stomach because it seizes my lower back. Sometimes I would just sit, but I can't sit for too long because my lower back gets seized up. Hammock. Hammock or bat style. It's the only way I can really sleep, right? Went to the doctor and they're like, yo, you look like you're in pain. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking sweating right now. I was pouring sweat, guys, trying to hold in the, and most of the time I'm like this, trying to keep the weight off of my hips. So I'm holding myself up in my chair at home like this half the time. It's the worst fucking thing, dude. Back pain sucks. Didn't realize how bad my back was. Ready? All right, guys. This is what's going on with my back. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Here we go. We got all my shit back. There's 25 discs in your back. I have 15 herniated discs. 15 bulging discs. 15 out of 25 of my discs are not in place. Makes fucking sense of why my back hurts so bad. I mean... There's times it hurts so fucking bad that I'm like, I see why people shoot themselves from from being in like chronic pain. I can totally understand why. Totally, like solos, like I, if I had a gun, I would have popped. How many? Remember we do this? Like I, I, I thought about shooting myself. Like I don't know if I could do this. I'm not gonna do that. But there's times where I'm like, oh, I get it. I fucking get why people people fucking say that shit. Like it's it's so bad that you can't stand, sit, or lay. What the fuck are you supposed to do? There's nothing in the world you could do. Sometimes I put my chest on my counter because it kind of takes the weight off my hips. And I just kind of sit there. How do I do shit? Sitting chest down? I'm disabled at that point. Anyway, so stupid bitch doctor from Merced, this one's fractured. My C3 is fractured. And she's like, it's an older fracture. I go, oh, I know where that's from. Stupid fucking bitch. Told that fucking doctor my neck hurt. I knew it hurt. It hurt so bad I couldn't lift my fucking arm. It's not like, oh, it hurt. Oh, it's bad. It's like, no, it just won't. It won't move. It feels like this. Shake it off. Like this. Yeah. Now put your chin to your, to your chest. I can't. Something's stuck. Yeah. My disc is not in the place to move. Mm. It's like having your chain on your bike crumpled. It's like, how are you supposed to ride the fucking bike? You don't. It gets stuck and that's impossible to move. 15 guys so the doctor looked at me and goes hey a couple of your discs are at five millimeters six to seven is when i would i would suggest surgery like you need to start fusing that I was like what he goes that's usually when people can't handle it anymore and you have to get surgery i'm like i'm not getting no fucking surgery man he goes you are months away maybe two years at most from getting fucking surgery on those discs i'm like Are you fucking kidding me he goes if you don't take care of this i give it less than 10 you're in a wheelchair for most of the day the fuck i feel i don't feel like that and then i think about it like most people don't have back pain severely all day something's wrong so that's why i was like all right are you serious okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna start on this i've been doing decompression not the things the inversion tables where you hang by your ankles that's not what i'm talking about i've been doing decompression treatments stem cell soft soft wave treatments tens unit and this infrared laser thing i go five times a week it's become a job i'm there for two hours a fucking day at least anyway guys are you ready i've been doing this shit i've been doing shout out to dr ryan from spine anatomy this is the reason i'm saying this i'm getting better like my back is getting fucking better two days ago i woke up bent down grabbed something walked to the bathroom went Rosie! And I fucking woke her up and went, I just bent over and kept walking without having to hold my breath, without having to hold something in place, and it didn't hurt. I haven't done that since I was like 23. It's been damn near over 10 years since I've been able to bend over without it hurting. And the thing is, a lot of people are like, fool, you're too fucking fat. Motherfucker, I was not too fat at 20. At 20. I was in shape. My back is terrible. And now I realize... All those trying to go ego lifting with a fucking fridge on my shoulder, trying to pick up the fridge on my chest, shitting on my cousins, just showing them up. In all actuality, was crushing my vertebrae. Every other one of them. Every other one of them. Do you guys get that? Like, there's only 10 of my things in my spine that are normal. And uh, my 12th session the other day, guys, this is why I want to talk about it. I felt my spine pop back into place one of them i felt one of my vertebrae or my discs go back in a normal spot rosie was with me 
And she went, what was that? I go, you heard that? I felt my low, I think it's called the L6, L5. I felt it pop back into place. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? I, I heard it, but I felt it. And I described it as if you've ever had an ingrown toenail. And then right when you get it out, that relief, but it still hurts. But then you feel the gap of where that nail was because you have a hole in your toe. You know what I mean? Because it was an ingrown. Now you have that gap. I can feel the gap in my back. It feels like, like I can breathe. It's the weirdest feeling ever. And you know what's crazy is uh, two days ago, me and Rosie were sitting and I had no, not pain. I had no feeling in my back. Like nothing was bugging. And that's when I realized like, oh, this is what it's like to not be hurting. Because I'm constant. Con I just a part of life. I smoke weed like I know I have back problems. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, what's, what's up? Oh, no, it hurts. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, I'm high. I'm smoking another joint, though. Like, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm on fire. My back is, I've tried to laugh it off, and I try not to let it show on camera because you guys are not going to have fun. If you if you saw me when I'm hurting, you guys would not want to watch the show no more. I'm just sitting here just squirming. It fucking hurts, man. And uh, so, yeah, anyway, this one's fractured. Four out of seven on these ones are bulging. The middle, I have seven bulging. The bottom, I have five bulging. Five out of five. Um, but the worst one's five millimeters. Six to seven millimeters of surgery. So I'm dialing that one back. And then my other ones are three and down. So it's still, I'm still fixable. But all I want to say is, shout out to fucking Spine Anatomy. Because I actually am starting to feel better already. I'm not even halfway done through my procedures. I have 15 more. Still. And I got 30 left on my neck. Mm. Like, I... If this is working the way this is working so far, I'm going to have a different life. Yeah. I don't like to go places. My back hurts. I don't want to go. I don't want to sit there. I don't want to stand there. I don't want to go to the store. I don't want it. My back is on fire. I don't want to do that shit. The only time I forget about it is when I'm on live or talking. Because I forget when I'm talking to my friend, like talking, talking, and then I go, get up, go, oh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay. Whew, let's go. And it's like, Quality of life is gonna go. Oh, quality of life is gonna go nuts, dude. Yeah, just being able to think mm -hmm. and not just be like, "Well, your back is on fire still." So, like, that dude, sucks. Actually, just, sure. You took them out. <laughs> I actually dumped okay. them. Uh, why you been going through this? April's been going through the exact same thing. Marty's wife. It's actually really sad. What's worse is a uh, one of her discs is three times worse than one of mine. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? That no. Nah. She needs to smoke weed. <laughs> she needs to smoke fucking weed. The doctor even said, how are you okay? No. Like, you're, you're okay? I go, I got to deal with it. It's like, it's completely debilitating. It's kind of, it's really taken over our lives. And it's ironic that you two have the exact same thing and are doing the exact same treatment at the exact same time. But, I mean, she hasn't even been able to, like, here. She's barely been able to live these past year or two. She hasn't been able to like work really or. I got this just... text yesterday. Is that Josh? Oh shit, Josh! <laughs> on the same nice. table we're on. Oh nice. He saw me. He's like, "Hey, look where I'm at." Uh -huh. He has horrible back issues. Well, too. the idea with it is that like you have like part of your discs that's like hemorrhaging. It's like being pushed out to the nerves. And this um, decompression treatment is pulling it back to like fix it back in place. Mm -hmm. I really hope it works. It's gonna April. work. It's gonna work, which is yeah, crazy because I never thought anything was gonna fix it, dude. Mm -hmm. It's like having a giant thorn in your spine because it's like same thing for her. She can never, oh, she's she worse. can't sleep, she she's can't worse, sit, man. she can't walk, she can't do shit. She's, but the thing is like, she's in shape. I can't imagine if I was in shape and my back was still well, fucking Well, imagine hurt, this. I'd be it's pissed. Like, she's... <laughs> She's got multiple things going on because when you have three kids, your oh, abs aren't ripped. necessarily. Uh, she had she just had surgery to sew her abs back together. And then what she do? I'm gonna go home and do shit the next day. She kind Remember of she did. FaceTimed us. Yeah, she and she ripped it. She thought she, she did. thought she did, but she yeah, like, she it's was the in, day after ab surgery. It was really actually gruesome and scary because like the second night she had. So her abs are held together by like this steel mesh. But she started fucking freaking out about two nights in the middle of the night. 
I mean, imagine waking up and like the meds have kind of wore off. You're you now are are cut open. Yeah, with and, metal in you. Yes, and you're yeah. feeling that and realizing it. It was like made me just fucking give me the heebs just even thinking about it. Oh, so she doesn't have any core strength. You know, like <laughs> literally. You know what I mean? Like it is. <laughs> it shit is. Shit. It was so demeaning. Like she don't got no core strength. Like fuck, man. <laughs> It makes it, it even worse it. on her back because her front's she out of whack. She chicken wire on yeah. her chest, she, right? Oh. She needed oh. to work on, you know, like getting her core back. It's, it's a medical term. But it's called diastasis. Women get it from babies. It rips your abs apart. Uh, but then as that's happening, this severity in her back started happening. You know, she was in car accidents and stuff when she was a kid. I don't know if that's what it's from. But. Is that what Terrell Owens got? I was kidding. Remember how Terrell Owens all buff, but his abs go like left? Oh, I don't know. You remember that? I thought a million things when you said that. Uh, <laughs> Is that what Terrell Owens got? No, he's a man. He can't have babies. <laughs> so I, I always think when people like, I rip my ass like, like Terrell Owens? I didn't know that. All the, before the Niner games, he'd be warming up. My, my grandma's a Niner fan. I'm like, why are his abs turning? You look it up. Mm. Look up Terrell Owens' abs. How many children did he have, dude? Because... <laughs> Bro, Tower Owens abs. They're like taking the right turn. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. He's all he's all strong man now. Nah, when he was a skinnier dude, you could see it. We should oh, look at gotcha. it. I'll, I'll find a picture. Because right. we me and my grandpa used to always say, Oh, what the hell happened? All the time. Look like deformed. They're like this, like the state of California. Oh. <laughs> like a little cock to the uh, right. But yeah, so shout out to that doctor. Shout out. I mean, I'm sure there's, help a, her. there's gotta be a lot of people out there going through this type of shit. It's gonna help. Just live with it. Cause April was unaware of what was going on forever. You know, like she always had like you, she's just living with the issues. Yeah. Then you go and get the test and figure it out. And you're like, oh, fuck. it's not even that. It's like, I know if I was a hundred pounds lighter, they'd be like, Hey, your back's a lot less worse. I'm like, yep. I figure she's in shape mm -hmm. and to be in shape and still go, Oh, it's just my back. Bones. Yeah. She needs that fucking Wolverine surgery, dude. Yeah. Animanium, what do you call it? All you nerds out there, put it in the chat. Animanthium. We need to morph Meth. her into a. She needs a new avatar. Uh. She needs a new avatar. <laughs> you ever seen Get Out? <laughs> she just go to the, the south and be like, uh, I like that blonde bitch. Give me that blonde bitch. <laughs> like, no, no, no. She just got knocked out. I want a bitch that can fight. Yeah. The <laughs> She'll still arm wrestle you. <laughs> I know. I was there on your birthday. She started arm wrestling oh, random yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. the fuck. Oh yeah, we went out. At, yeah, we had a good time on my birthday. After yeah, that's right. We went after. The, oh, it was right after the episode. Yeah. Damn, we haven't been here in a minute. <laughs> that was so long ago. Yeah, it was. Everyone got sick. All the girls are starting getting sick. Yep. Just like clockwork. Oh, you throwing up? We were standing there. Oh, ready to go home? Oh, we're gonna throw up. attention. What happened? Standing there like G's at attention. What's going on? All right, yeah, throw up for sure. Sick. <laughs> that was so much fun. Thank you. We pulled up to the restaurant, opened up the motherfucking Oh, sprinter, the guy. Boxed the whole restaurant. <laughs> they came out multiple times. The lady smelled like fucking weed. <laughs> yeah. Just a regular waitress. restaurant. Yeah. Outdoor seating. We went to the crossroads <laughs> of Calabasas and stunk it the fuck up. We sat inside. Yeah. It was pretty bad. So much that our waiter said it like seven times about how much we stunk. <laughs> he was fine with it. He was trying to get down with it. Jeff. He was. I think he was. Um, yeah, it's been a minute. And then we did my birthday. Went to the Bahamas. That was cool. Obviously, you know, we missed our connecting flight because the airplane was late. And then we we're supposed to go to New York. Nope. No, they sent us to North Carolina. Yeah, all that fun stuff. Met a lot of fans. Did you guys fly like... Uh, private or whatever, like Fuck not no. private, like the pods. Like we, they missed our connecting flight because they were late. So they were like, "Yo, we don't have no more pods left." And they're like, "We do, but they're not together." I'm like, "Good. I, I need to sit next to Rosie if we're on a flight. I don't want her not to be next to me. Like if some shit happens, you need to be right next to me." Also, like, fuck, I was gonna regular seat if we're gonna sit next to each other. Like, I'm good. They had two left, but like. Hey, what's up? What movie are you watching? Fuck this. No, I'm good. So we just got regular seats. Hurt my back. Um, that was pretty much it. Yeah, we got back. Did a bunch of stuff. I don't know what. Oh, Benny, Benny the next morning. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. It was 
Damn, dude, we've been on it. September was a long ass month. My back's been, it's because I've been getting up early and having to go to the doctor every fucking yeah. morning. It's every cool. morning, bro. So it's like, I've been getting up and actually going, oh, I have somewhere to be. Fuck. All right, let me go. But my back hurts less. So I'm like, all right, let's go. Mm -hmm. I feel so much better, dude. It's so weird. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, and actually. You weren't filming, so I just focused on the podcast, and that was really nice. Yeah. So if you see a bunch of new sponsors come on the show, guys, make sure you go Take support my back. motherfuckers. And Marty. Thomas is fucked up back. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these are pretty fucking good. Um, what the fuck are we talking about? I don't know. Oh, let's, let's be like other podcasters. Relevant topics. Here we go. Hey, man, you hear about that new shit, man? Oh, man, yeah, I heard about that. I'm going to give it a, a lid. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> God. I see so many TikToks about people talking about shit. And then I go. <sighs> like hot topics. Yeah, it's always hot topics, but I see the same news story on 12 different shows back to back to back. Speaking of hot back topics, to big shout out to motherfucking Hip Hop DX. Big shout out to motherfucking Hot Hip Hop. Er, and? New, all the fucking hip hop sites writing all the articles. And who else? Who and else? And goddamn else? motherfucking Big Daddy motherfucking Kane. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so random. Hit us up on Instagram today. Share the story. It was Guys, All right. what the fuck are we talking about? Okay. Yeah, Hip Hop DX put out the article about the, Benny reacting to the dr him on Drink Champs, which is really cool to see us like right next to them up in these articles and shit now. And then uh, my boy DJ, DJ EFN from uh, co-host of Drink Champs, me and him are IG buddies. And oh, he nice. And shit and DM'd us and shit this morning. So Good shit. Uh, <sighs> yo, sorry, sorry. I got so sidetracked. Super sidetracked. Mm -hmm. I had something I was just about to say. Completely fucking lost it. Oh, love it. Oh, oh, oh. So, from the podcast and from the Dopa Giola channel, from everything, I was thinking about it recently and I was thinking more of the past two years I tried to. All right, look at this. What happened? This is what happened. I saw these like influencer dudes and I'm like, yo, that's. Your editor? Okay, sick. That's your manager, dude? Oh. Oh, that's your, your videographer? Okay. Oh, that's your this? Oh, that's your... You got 12 motherfuckers? Oh, and I gotta stop saying that. I gotta stop cussing so hard because YouTube hates us. And I gotta start speaking without having to cuss so much. Because I feel like if I, I say cuss words as if I'm breathing, and sometimes I feel like it might be a buffer zone yeah. and i need to stop being a buffer zone and start thinking and articulating my words you ever, like uh, i was just sorry i was thinking about youtube like youtube views the show by the transcript if you sit there and read the transcript it's insane <laughs> the shit that i say i'm a dictator over here even the hex episode i was looking at the transcript like all right on paper this is a little rough <laughs> some of this is the emphasis i say on these mother i just it's like it's like I fucking threw it into the, oh my God. It's like I threw it into the can. I need to start being able to speak. Like Tex over here is saying, oh, I can probably handle a business meeting. Like me too. But like four times the fool's gonna laugh because I said something stupid. But like I said it on purpose. Man, it's just talk. But then again, that's the whole point of the show. But at the same time, <laughs> I need to be able to do these things because my goal at the end of this life is to be like, yo, Jimmy Kimmel, I know you're done. Yeah. Give me your show. Let me just get let me just take your show. I'm gonna walk up. Hey, did you hear about this? Yeah, yeah. Shut up! Kick this fool out of here. Yo, if I make it a late, late night show, no celebrities would ever want to be on our show. Nobody would ever want to come to our show. It'd be like the Eric Andre show, but like the celebrities weren't in on it. <laughs> they're not fun for them. They'd come on and be like, hey, remember when you did that thing? Why'd you do that thing? No, sit down, sit down, come back. <laughs> well, that was Brad Pitt. That was Brad Pitt, guys. Thank you for being here. I'm like, oh, so the show's over. Nobody wants to be on your show. Uh, I'm basically the Steve Wilkos. I bring you up so you can just get thrown off. <laughs> Shout out to Steve Wilkos for being such a bad TV host. Because I, we were just talking about this for the show. Yeah. The shit that doesn't get said on camera, I, I crave this shit. 
we were getting so much trouble all you know what i got a little light at the end of the tunnel for you marty okay i think cancel culture is over I think saying whatever the fuck you want to say is coming back very soon. And I think racist and horrible, horrible, horrible dark humor is going to be okay again. Racist jokes are funny. When people make fun of Mexican people, if it's funny, I'm going to laugh. Mm -hmm. Not just because it's racist, because it's funny. That's, that's like, that's, that's all humans can only relate to what? Being human. What's the differences? The way you look. Well, I'm going to make fun of it because I can't make fun of anything else. But, all right, cool. Let's do that shit. All right, cool. And we'll all roast each other. Go back to fifth grade. Let's all go back to fifth grade and just roast each other again. Because all these little bitch ass fools get every single person that stands up for a race being can't, being offended is never part of the fucking race. Everyone that's ever stood up for Mexican pools are not Mexican. Marty, all your cousins got to knock it off. <laughs> With not you. Standing up for your cousins? Because <laughs> everyone that's ever been like, yo, something, something rights, but like, I'm not part of the group. I'm just like, like, shut up. I get that you're trying to do it, but it's always you motherfuckers that make it annoying. <laughs> it's always the fools that have nothing to do with shit that make it annoying. So this is what I'm saying to you. If you don't like stuff that people say, don't fucking watch it. If you don't like that person, don't, you don't have to follow them. So that's it. That's pretty much it. A lot of shows I don't like. A lot of things people do, I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck? And I go, oh. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot about it. Because who the fuck cares? You don't walk into Walmart and go, I hate this brand of clothes. Hey, everybody, I fucking hate this brand of clothes. Oh my God. When I went, oh my God. I was on Rodeo Drive and all the people protested Balenciaga. Like you give a shit. Yeah, they're weird. Don't buy it. Just don't buy it then. If there's like a van with like a hundred kids that gets discovered outside of Balenciaga and it's we can a storm it. operation, then we can then storm it. Get the strike going. But you know who doesn't know about any of this stuff? The people inside the building of Balenciaga. They're all paid to be there. They're workers. Protesting against fools at minimum wage jobs doesn't stop corporate in any way. And I'm only bringing Balenciaga because I saw that protest. It does nothing. Now all you do is make like all the environmentalists that block the road. I'll fight you. <laughs> no, I'll fucking fight you. Make everybody late to work, bitch. Block the freeway, Marty. That's insane to think about doing. So at least three accidents happen because of them. At least three fender benders happen because they're like, stop oil. I I drove here. I parked over there, but stop oil. I drove. No, I drove my Prius here, but still, I drove here. Like, shut up. You smoke cigarettes. How do you even do that? How do you get... I don't... I don't. I don't I, it's like some Frogger game that you don't want to play out there. Jesus Christ. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see myself stopping. I was going to do this one. Ooh. Yeah. Damn, I'm sorry. You know, also, f fuck, fuck, cyclists. If we're going to be on this... You know what? So back to what I was saying. I think cancer culture is on the way out. I think people are saying... I think bad friends has opened up such a door because they're ripping on each other so openly and mm. so fucking harshly that it's like, hey, can I, can I say that shit too? Hey, if I go on your show, can I call him that too? Can I do that voice too to Bobby? Bobby Lee's just like... He's inadvertently to like... Just opening the world up again. Andrew <laughs> Santino's back there with stone cold face saying shit going, oh, he don't give a fuck. Bobby, he don't give This is what we need open roasting again. Mm -hmm. And I think bad friends, I've been watching a lot of bad friends. So I'm like, yo, you guys make me feel more comfortable going, hey, shut up. You know, your mom swam here, right? <laughs> you know, it's just stupid shit. Mm -hmm. I say that shit all the time. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. But I know you're not allowed to say it on the internet. <laughs> But if I had a mic in my hand, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. So, so what, what I'm trying to say is, I think cancel culture is on the way out, Marty. I think the hilarious R word is back. We got to get you rapping. You could say all. Yeah, the, the, the R word was rapping. <laughs> the hilarious rapping's back. There we go. I got to start a Lonely Island group so I can say whatever the R word I want. <laughs> Yo, yo, could you imagine? 
You know, the thing is, I think if I was allowed to say what the fuck, remember when we first started this podcast and I went, but, but what if I sit, remember I, I had the structure. I'm like, but like, what if I say it? And like, but can I say that? Like, but are we going to get in trouble? That was my biggest concern. Like, are we going to get in trouble? I'm talking about a cat getting decapitated. Check out the clips channel for <laughs> cat story time. Not on purpose. It's an accident. But you also, killed the cat. I killed the butterfly. Shit happens. Yeah. I, only one of us did it on camera, you psychopath. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there was a cat under my hood of my car. I had no idea. Anyway, I think it's back. I think we're getting close to South Park taking over. Is there evidence making you think this, or is this just wishful thinking? <laughs> I see a lot of bad friends. I see a lot of comedians oh, yeah. saying what they want. And literally, it's this bad to where I got to do this. I see a lot of people saying, I mm -hmm. isn't that crazy? I can't even say the fucking word anymore. It's not racist or anything, but it's like, you're politically incorrect. You're supposed to say mentally challenged. Like, shut up. Shut up. And then I just call him that right after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> Yo, when I was a kid, being able to call someone that was the end. You're like, all the words. Shut up, yeah. fool. Like, oh, damn. You ended it. And with me and my, my Bugs Bunny with baggy clothes on, on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> with the big jeans that were backwards. Yo, crisscross fuck shit up in the 90s. The original viral fucking influencers. The original Ray Shremmer. For real. Wow. Crisscross. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is Ray Shrummer still a thing? Yeah, uh, I think it's made no music. I don't really follow mainstream music. Neither does Marty, so I'm shocked you even knew who that was, Marty. They were going to come on the show. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, I'll take a little bit of credit back. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, so I think we can say whatever we want again coming soon. And when it does, you better be ready. I'm going to verbally assault you. And you guys tell us, because we were talking about this before the show. Patreon made it now so that you can upload video directly to Patreon. Meaning, before you'd still have to host your shit on Vimeo or YouTube, one of these other things. Vimeo kicked us off. We would love to be able to just freely post and just have the followers that want to see it, see it without having an algorithm judge it and then fucking put it out to who it's going to put it out to based on its robotic judgment of whatever it is that we put all this time into that we're posting. So, you guys let us know if you fuck with Patreon or not, because it's also, they just partnered with Spotify. I think they make it affordable, like 100, 190 bucks an episode for each person. No, Some cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Here's about but 600 bucks an episode. Guys, we put so much goddamn time and effort into everything that we do, and we, you, you know, and it just sucks. That <coughs> it's like, you know, YouTube decides what it's going to do with it either way. But we'd like to... <coughs> Building out our team here, get into the position where we can start putting out more. Twenty twenty four. Let us know. I feel like Patreon's ramping it up. I feel like it's the only thing that's really common to people that they know about. That's kind of for the creator, where it's like how Instagram used to be in the sense that if I follow this person, I'm going to see what they post. Yep. It's I want to see what they post. They it, they spend a lot of time on this shit. They want me to see it and to actually have that little tight community of people. So. I would love that. I think it's worth investing time into one way or the other, but I think Patreon's the only like third party standalone site that's doing it the right way. You guys let us know if it's worth our time. Bitch. Mm. See? Say whatever you want. Let us know if it's worth our time. Bitch. Or now you've had enough. Bitch. Bob Barker. Happy Gilmore. <laughs> um RIP. RIP. Damn. Yo, I saw the funniest thing ever is the 99 cents. Have we talked about that? We talked about I think we talked about it on here. I don't think Bob Barker died at 99, and I saw the funniest tweet I ever seen in my life. So this motherfucker never went over a dollar no matter what he did. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's the f that's the f that's peak comedy right there. <laughs> wow. You shit me, Bob Barker and Betty White both die at 99. Let's get one white over a hundred. Give us one white over a hundred. Going for it. I'm going for it, man. <laughs> My level of income and the way modern technology, I don't see why I can't live to 250, 300. I got to go back and really watch Step Brothers, Tyler Dega Knights. Amazing. They kind of blur together for me. It's kind of how like Black Sheep and Tommy Boy are kind of the same I movie. I feel you. 
But I watched Black Sheep so violently hard that Tommy Boy is like a back burner in my brain. It's the Happy Gilmore to Billy Madison. Oh thing. no 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 no! Those are those are equal. Anything under 2004 Adam Sandler is very level for me. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> How many times are we gonna get into this? Huh? You got Waterboy, and then fucking, <laughs> then you got the Wendy Singer, Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, Quattro fucking classics. Jesus Christ, that's fucking hard. Also, here we go. My homie Anthony called me last night, and I missed the call. And I called him right back, and he ran into my to Joe, my homie Joe. That uh, was remember my homie Joe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anthony ran into Joe last night. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, I hadn't seen him in 10 years. I saw him on Christmas. Um, yeah, he, he's not doing good. But uh, when I saw him, he was doing cool. He's, he, when I talked about it, he was doing all right. But, Wait, is uh, this the friend that you saw walking down the street? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a trip. It's a trip, man. Because Anthony took a picture with him, and he sent it to me. And I go, what the fuck? Having a picture of Joe is the weirdest shit ever, right? Mm-hmm. But like you could tell he's all fucked up, but it's like he's still very he's he's still there. He's still there, I think, in the general sense of like internally you're just like you're that dude. That's who you are. But like even with me, like I was saying, Oh yeah, 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 we did, huh? Because Anthony's like, he don't even he barely remembers us. I'm like, for real? Like, fuck. That's crazy. And then we talked to Joe's mom, she's like, Yo, he's been missing. I don't know where he's been, so thank you for you know, sending me the picture, whatever. Um, weird shit, man. I was thinking about it all morning, all fucking morning. Um, because when you left, when you saw him, you were kind of like, "Here's my number." Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Compared to the pictures, you know. When Honestly, I that's exactly him. how I pictured him to yeah. look. He looks so. He looks like he's he's smiling still. I mean, I, I'm. That's not overstepping the line if I show Joe. I've never shown him before. I think it's cool. That's totally, the, the world never forgave us for not showing your stepdad. Yeah. There's Joe. That's what he looks like now. This looks older. We've shown his kid pictures before, right? Yeah. Does he know that you have this whole world on? He doesn't know what the fuck we're doing. It's a trip though because ten, 20 feet to the right is a story where me, him, and Joe and the t- crack had touched my fucking hair when she had mm. herpes on her face. Mm. Damn. Who would have thought fucking <laughs> 15 years later would be like, damn. So uh, he's been gone for what, 10 years, 12 years? Yeah, around there. I mean, what? I think he lives in the same town and hasn't seen him in nine years. Oh. You know? That slider's out. Did the pill spiral into other shit, I would imagine? Or? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I haven't talked to him enough. But yeah, what a trip. Anthony called me last night like twice in a row. I was like, oh, fuck. I gotta answer this shit. And yeah. Do people... It's true. Well, kind of a stupid question. Homeless people out there, are there pill addicts strung out? Like That's yeah. not like the tweaker. You think meth. You think There's like all these other things. outside. Mm. So many. Mm-hmm. A lot of them smoke pills, and then they start moving on to shit because yeah, because uh, uh, maybe bleep that too. Maybe that gets us age restricted because uh, the pills get too expensive. Anyway, it's funny the yeah. Benny episode didn't get age restricted <laughs> or did hexed it in yeah. seconds. <laughs> but Benny the butcher, and we're talking. I was a three time felon, thirty years old. <laughs> Don't dope hand to hand. That was such a gangster movie. Did everybody realize that was a voiceover to a gangster movie? That That's whole episode. Like. That's what Come it on. felt like. When he said that, I'm like, oh, we're getting a shit this hard. Nope. <laughs> but Hex over here, yeah, with fishing. I'm like, you know, idiots. <laughs> Rocking age restricted instantly. I'm like, we're over here talking about idiots. <laughs> what the fuck? We'll talk about cooking crack, okay? <laughs> Oh shit! Anyway, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. Blew my mind, man. This is reminiscent, guys. Oh, we haven't been here in a minute. So when he started naming off those streets in South Buffalo, I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Oh yeah, my mom was texting me as I was going. I was like, "Look at Marty's face." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did not expect him to start saying that shit. 
No, the you, whole time. Remember in well, you need to go back and watch Step Brothers. Your face, the entire episode was like in Step Brothers when the dad meets Will Ferrell's younger brother. <laughs> he's sitting there like, you God, you're impressive. <laughs> Don't call him son. Why? It's my son. We're getting to know each other. Ah! That's how you're looking. You look so fucking high. I mean, bro. Come on. We're talking about this in season. That's like getting Jim Carrey's ass in here. How much we talk about it. One, one day that fool's going to be sitting across from us. And I'm going to go, hey, sit still. Sit still. You see that fake rhino? Would you mind crawling out of his ass? <laughs> <laughs> what if we had a fake rhino on the wall and that's how he came into the episode? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't know he had to come uh -huh. in that way. That would be tough. He'd be down. I think he'd be down. Gonna get a fucking rhino asshole and stall them with the wall over here. <laughs> Season four. Hear me out. <laughs> To the right of you and below. Uh -huh. We have someone's hand come through Rhino's ass to hand us the sponsor. Oh, someone else wants you. you got another joint? All right, cool. It's a good pitch. Hand, come <laughs> hand coming out of a Rhino's ass. Trent, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> no, the rubber. How much is the rubber going to cost? Paint it. Research it, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trent just finished. Oh, shout out to Trent. Just finished his first property. His inspection happens today. Today, his first property, he rebuilt the whole fucking house himself. His sister's place? No, him and his sister bought a house in Fresno to fix up and rent out. The fuck is? Yeah, this fool ripped the stairs out, redid all the walls, did yeah. everything, cut holes to make doorway. Like, he did everything, dude. So shout out to Trent. Imagine building a fucking house. Honestly, dude, the other day, like I put, like there was like a little shelf. That I bought for between the chairs in my room. And you didn't have to do anything, no assembly. And I put it down and I was like, fuck yeah, I did that shit. It's like, down here, I had to put nothing together. And then Trent built a house. No. No. Oh, you ever seen those teepee? Remember the teepee? And you've seen Tropic Thunder. Remember, you've never seen Tropic Thunder? Everything past 99 is a blur. I kind of have seen everything. With Ben Stiller and Jack Black? No, I know of what it is. I act like I've seen that. It's one of those oh, ones that I assume man, I've seen. Man, you really got Oh, it's yeah. so fucking good, Martin. That's the last movie where you can say anything you want. I mean, he did blackface the whole fucking movie. Mm -hmm. Great job <laughs> at it, though. Um, there's a scene where Ben Stiller grows off by himself and he makes a little fort teepee where the panda attacks him. Mm. That's what I'd be living in if I didn't know how to... If, yeah. I, if, if I had to build houses... Mm -hmm. I would be living under half water draining into my house, TP. Yeah, outside, right by everyone else's nice house, because I don't know how to fucking yeah. build. You're like, give me six fine. books and thirty years, you're gonna see me stack the books and sleeping under the fucking books in the rain, <laughs> because this is not gonna fucking happen. If you've been following my Instagram story, we constructed a motherfucking gazebo in my backyard recently, and I had with his nothing mind to do with that shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, he texts me. <laughs> People, stepdad's out here fucking putting the gazebo together. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Every time he comes around, he builds shit. Oh, no, no. He texts me. He texts me. April stepdad just walked into a cloud of white widow smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All I imagine is you doing this. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Marty smokes in the ground. I blew a hit. All right. You want to talk about trying to do shit? I bought a roll of tint. I was going to try to tint. Oh, that's right. Because I was going to try to tint my own garage windows. They're this big. Yeah, there's four of them. They're small. Now, this man just built a whole gazebo in the backyard by himself. You know? This thing is, like, above people. There's, this is important. It can't Above fall. people. <laughs> you know? It's complex. And he looks at the tent, and he's like, I can't. You, you want to get a guy to do this. But he walked in the garage and he walked over to the fucking table to get the tent. And as he did, I had just like a right over, like, because the door's over here, the window's over here. So I'm just out there by myself. I just sent this giant cloud right over at the fucking garage door. And yeah, he came out and just consumed that shit. He oh. swam right into that shit. Played he said it nothing. off. Didn't say a thing. You know what you got to do? 
I think I just solved your problems. I just thought about it. You ready? I'm gonna put the joint down. That's how important this is. <laughs> this is like a little vape. You need to pretend that you vape. You need to start having a little vape in your pocket around your kids. Have this little vape when the parents, the in-laws come over, but never hit it. Just like have your little vape around. They all know I smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> What's this concealing shit? I didn't know. I thought you I meant mean, like. Because I think he knows I fucking smoke. It weed. wasn't funny because it was funny because he just walked. He just fucking was consumed by this fucking cloud he walked into. I don't ever smoke in front of him or talk about it yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. but it's like, you know, pretty fucking obvious when you go out there and the fucking the homies for life shit is out there and all the, you know, just me reeking and shit when I come back to this. <laughs> I'm editing. <laughs> cloud. I'm up behind you. <laughs> no, I'm just getting, uh, just getting this fucking uh, sponsorship done. <laughs> He's on me and my Uncle John. It's like, oh, we're fucking, uh, oh. Ah! And if it's not me hacking, it's you on the fucking computer, computer hacking. hacking. <laughs> A lot of the time, Marty's new monitor has tracking. And his monitor follows him around the room. So sick. It is the creepiest shit. The first day I thought I had fucking... <laughs> of sickness I'm watching like why wow. I realize I never stand still when we're FaceTiming all day and shit cause it's just subtly you just realized this motherfucker bobs and weaves 90% of the time you start off like this I think you start the interview the interview the FaceTime what's up you're doing this 42% of the time no so much the first time I think who was it? I think it was uh, John. The first time he ever watched the pocket, he goes, Marty used to rap or something? I go, yeah, what? He goes, like, he's, he, like, he's moving like he's throwing, dropping verses. I go, oh, okay. I never thought about it that way. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> so I know we're about <laughs> It's how it is. Yeah. Um, I got that standing desk gives me confidence. Yeah, that's it. right. He has the standing desk and the fucking monitor moves. Of course you're doing that shit. It's probably not playing racquetball like a prisoner. Right? <laughs> Sorry. I Hand forgot ball. what the fuck we were talking about. To get there. I have no idea what we were talking about. Oh, the cloud of weed smoke. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... I try to be pretty... That, you know, I'm so low-key about it. That shit was pretty fucking funny to me. And just because he's like the whitest dude all time, you'd never have like... To rip off the white widow pen. I did get April to take. I sent you. <laughs> I'm in mid fight and I get a video and the you know when the, the intro to videos is just the, where it started, so it's just like a freeze frame and it's this. And Marty's holding his hat and it starts with him just <laughs> cackle laughing. Zoom over. April. I snuck oh, one up. Stop! Up. I was like, hit this, hit it. Do it. And she actually And she it. just did it. And I was like, do it till it blinks. Ten seconds. He made her blink the fucking white widow pen. She, could, she didn't even fucking come but close. Come on, but it the white wrecked her. One of all things. <laughs> the one I say is like, yo, this one's fucking strong. She's gonna hate it. Oh, it's so fucking funny to me. And then you sent me another video, and I was like, here's her. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> There's like four clips. I got five fucking clips in a row. I was trying to listen to him at the fight. And I just hear, I'm going to fucking throw up. I was going to post that, and I'm like, uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I can't be, you know, going back and forth with parents and principals and shit all goddamn long. And but you can. But you are, Blanche. Yes, you can. <laughs> Fuck them. Yeah, I guess so. Fuck them. All right, fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> Their kids are like, oh, I watched that show. I'm like, oh, hey, can you tell my kid to not be such an asshole to me on the show? Mm. It'd be really cool. I'm like, nope, because you're a bitch. And then you tell the kid, like, you run away from home and you come here. And when they call, I'm going to tell them you're not here. I'm just trying to think of horrible things to do to a parent. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a evil laugh moment. Oh, I, <laughs> I know what you're doing, man. Yo, I touched my eye with weed before we started, and it's just. You usually save that for the ad reads. I usually do. <laughs> but I hit myself right when I was mid rolling joints. All right. And shout out to all my daughter's friends that I end up on a FaceTime with and are all stoked about the show. <laughs> and That's shit. funny. If I could <laughs> give you guys more merch and shit, I would, but, you know, it's got bongs all over Hold it. Hold on. Also, if you ever run into my little brother, Johnny, 
do not fucking pay him a dollar. Don't give him anything. My little brother has been charging people, and he'll fucking FaceTime me. He goes, see, told you it's my brother. He goes, oh, no way, big fan. Then he hangs up. I'm like, Johnny, what the <laughs> fuck? It's like, this guy didn't believe me. He said he gave me $20, and I did. he did it twice to me already. My brother's fucking 10, hustling people How out there. How many brothers you got? A lot. <laughs> you keep, there's always a new one I don't I know, know about. <laughs> it's the youngest. He's the last one. <laughs> little bastard called me when he was in Mexico. Because one of his cousin's friends didn't believe it. He's like, that's my brother's a YouTuber. Like, that's not your brother. I'll call him right now. He's like, I bet $20. And then he's like, the guy gave me $20. It's a tight move. I he's mean. like, Johnny, don't do that to my fans. Yeah. It's fucked up, dude. <laughs> yeah. And I even told him, like, hey, don't you give my fucking brother anything. Because he told me in the second time, like, don't you give him shit. I was like, don't be doing that shit to people, motherfucker. You're not cameo. You can't do that. <laughs> that's not cool. Also, like. You call me seven times in a row, I think something happened to somebody. Mm -hmm. You got to stop doing that to me, dude. Mm -hmm. Don't call me seven times in a row. He did that shit to me during the fucking show. And I fucking was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But he just What's going on? He's just some random motherfucker. That he doesn't even know. I also was like, Johnny, what if someone's like, yeah, that's your brother? Smack the fuck out of him or something. Or what if they don't like me? Like, yo, that's your brother? I don't know. I don't know. People are weird. But also, like, that's some bullshit fucking charging. Pull me $40 off of people. Little asshole. I mean, when he's 20, it's going to be a funny story. But, like, don't do that shit. It's fucked up, man. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's what's going on. What's <laughs> going on in that world? So, what's the plan with the Dope Azirola Adventures channel for 2024? Okay, so here we go, guys. That's what we were talking about earlier. Oh, my God. And I started off with cancellation. And people okay. being able to say what they want. That's my point. Hold I'm going to act like I just brought it yep. back. That was my point. On the maps, we would did this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ever see on the on the maps of movies, they're like, oh, you went the wrong way. And they go back to the map. <laughs> That's us on conversations, but usually nobody ever tells us. The Rock, I thought the Rockies would be more rocky than this. That never happens in our conversations, so we just never go back. Yeah. <laughs> we just keep the money in that sense. Well, fuck. Everything is a Jim Carrey reference at the end of the day. Something always goes back. 550 grand. Gonna want to hang on to that one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's right. That's right. The Lambo. <laughs> oh, that expensive in the 90s. Disgusting. The Dope is Yola channel. Ready? Oh, that's what I was saying. I saw this guy. He's got 12 this. He's got a guy for this. He's got a guy for this. He's got a guy for That's what I was trying to say earlier. Oh, my God. That was today. So, I've been trying to be too professional. I've been trying to go, I only film Wednesdays. I only film this day. Oh, no, I only post on this day. Nope, I don't, this hour is set for this. That hour is aside for this. That shit doesn't work in the, in the world of weed, drugs, and smoke. Okay. No, I can't say drugs. I don't do drugs anymore. In the world of weed, smoke, and content, okay. there can't be that schedule anymore. Doesn't work. Because you know what that means? If I can't get that done right there, I'll wait till next Wednesday to put that out. What does that mean? It takes a week to fucking get it back for the edit. Two weeks up. What happens if I miss it twice? A month? So now my video's a month back? I can't be doing this shit no more. So... That's why I'm like, I got to stop being so professional. I have a nice camera. I can film myself sometimes. I can do these vlogs and I have to wait till Wednesday when I have the videographer. I can fucking do these things and I just don't because I'm like, no, 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 I, I'm past that. I can't be filming myself anymore. That's not what I do anymore. I'm like, but why not? The fuck's wrong with you? So that's why that fucking last baked, everybody loved it. Like, yo, I fucking love these. I filmed it myself. Mm -hmm. The whole thing. Yeah. POV, turned around on myself and like, that's how I started doing shit. So I got I to gotta do more of that. I'm going to stop trying to be so fucking stupid professional. And not everything needs lighting. I can go do shit and just have lighting. Like I just I keep thinking, like, I have to be mic'd. Yeah. I have to do this. But I don't. We need all. way more clips of dope, dope as Yola shit. Yes, yes. Uh, 100% because there's two channels. I'm actually talking to one. There's two channels on TikTok that are called Dopest Clips and Dope as Yola Fan. They post my story times. With half me and half gameplay on the bottom. There's millions and millions and millions of views on these. Multiple videos. Mm -hmm. I can't even post my own shit. Because it gets flagged because I'm smoking in it. 
but these fools have cut around the smoking. Mm-hmm. I'm about to hire one of these dudes, but yo, make me use a shitload of clips, bro. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I'll be watching him, like, oh, that's me. Like, oh, damn, I forgot. Fuck, I remember this story. Damn. And I think about the perk, like, wow, what the fuck? That was a long time ago. And I go, wait, a million views? Fuck. That's great, but like, I can't even put this on my own channel. Fuck, man. So I'm about to hire one of these fools to make me clean clips so I can just put them on my shit. Because they're, all, and, I mean, they're all crediting. I mean, they're like, yo, this is not Dope as Yola, this is Dope as Yola fan channel. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are so good at making these clips. Just let me pay you. Do it for me. Yeah. Because you're doing it right now for free. Mm-hmm. Do it to get paid. Yeah. By the person that you're posting. That's the way to do it. That's just how kidding. I started my whole graphics career yeah, showing people sick shit yeah. yeah of course um but uh i've been trying to be too professional right i'm just gonna start doing shit like how i used to do it just fucking run it let's just do it film it fuck it let's film a smoke how many times i have i would have hundreds more videos if i filmed how many times have we smoke five grand fucking raws and joints and not ever even talk, post a picture of it 99 percent of the weed shit we do we don't even film it mm-hmm. because i'm like oh no no no, 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 no nikita here no, I'm not even mic'd up. No, let's just fucking smoke. Like, bro, just film your phone, man. You know, this is good content, right? This is some sick shit. Like, John rolls the dumbest fucking hash holes I've ever seen. I've never even filmed one. Mm-hmm. Ever. Smoked six gram hash, jo- hash holes with six grams of hash. Didn't even take a picture. Like, what's wrong with me? I try to get two professionals. What happened, guys? I try to be too, like, well, he's got five dudes. We got, you know, Marty, and I got my videographer. I'm the rest of it. Yeah, no, if I don't have the videographer, I'm not filming. Fuck that shit. Oh, Mickey, you're not ready? Oh, we got to push it back to a different day. Like, fuck, I got a like, same camera. Mm-hmm. Let's, get the fire. Let's get the shotgun mic. Here we are. Yeah. So that's what I've been thinking. And also, The Adventures of Yola is no longer. It's now called Adventures of Thomas. Go check it out. Adventures of Thomas. Um, I'm just going to post my YouTuber shit on there. I posted the car full Maybach review. It did pretty fucking well. I haven't posted in eight months. And I had people in the comments like, well, I forgot I follow this channel. Like, mm-hmm. fuck, that's not good. I haven't posted in eight months. Might as well be a new channel. So that's what's going on, guys. The Adventures are Adventures of Thomas. No more Adventures of Yola because they linked it to Dope as Yola and flagged me for weed. Or flagged me for a drug paraphernalia account. Uh, not monetizable even though all my videos are green and they say take down the videos that are not monetizable will monetize you but all of them are green what the fuck do i take down <laughs> they're all family friendly so i think the channel just got associated so anyway that's what's going on adventures of thomas um dope Joel channel 100 percent going back i just gave marty two videos um to edit also we got another person to finally helping us out we're bringing on he edited the last video his name is henry shout out to henry he edited the shit out of our last video um He's gonna be, yeah. He's doing a good job, man. And we we need help, guys. Like Marty, I, I told him today when I was getting my back shit done. I, our biggest downfall is we don't put out enough of ourselves. Small content, like small clips, shorts. It takes so much time. If we had someone just pumping it out, somebody could have been down for eight clips already while we've been filming this episode. Instead of Marty rushing back to do eight clips. And then rushing to do a dope as hell video. And then doing and then cramming it all together. And they're like, wow, fuck, dude. I'll wake up at five and get this done. I'm like, fucking terrible. That sounds terrible. So that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to expand the team, as he was talking about earlier. But expand the team in a good way. So he did the full video by himself. No edit from Marty. He took over that one full edit. Shit ton of footage. <sighs> a lot of fucking footage. 12 hours worth, actually, on three different cards. Imagine having, it's not even like having a, it's like a, you got a big giant block of cardboard that you then have to make the puzzle pieces out of and then put the puzzle together. That's what it is when you get a giant well, batch of Well, it's footage. like getting the cardboard and none of it's in the right, sh- none of it's putting the shapes together. You got to like, and you got to size it. Unpackage it unpackage and look it, at look, it. And then puzzle yeah. piece it. It's like, <laughs> oh, two more steps. Sick. Mm-hmm. How many times you touch one piece of a clip is like five. Imagine there's 5,000 clips. Because here's the thing. If you want to get really insane, you want to start considering how many frames are inside of a clip at 24 frames per second. And then you think, I'm responsible for every frame in this motherfucker. Every frame in this video needs to be deliberate and it's there. 100%. You know, like, and I can't leave anything out. I need to make sure I found all the best moments so that we're not leaving anything on the table. Because... Just understanding what's in the footage is big can be overwhelming. And then 
to take from it what you want and then what to keep and to tell a story is a whole skill. Well, I used to do it with one line. Mm -hmm. So I would throw all my B-roll like 30 minutes out so they wouldn't get next to my other ones. It'd be yeah. a gap of 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I have to unscroll and then it freeze every time you scroll. So it's like seven times longer than it should be. Yeah. Well, guys, I hated it. When we got our first new sponsors, we got me a new computer with a beautiful display. Brand new. So like, thank God. I was editing all this shit on a laptop up to this point. So <laughs> I can see what I'm doing now and the shit is moving nice and smooth and definitely we keep just reinvesting into the quality of the show. But that's why also when you see all these new sponsors coming on and we're really, shout out to Raw, uh, trying to give you guys sponsors that you want and that you know are meaningful to people's lives. You see them, come on, please support them. It's the only way the show works. But we're heavily active in the community right now and I'm thinking for 2024, there's gonna be a lot of cool new sponsors coming on the show. A lot so of shit. you see that, go hit them up and say what's up. Exactly. What time are we at, Marty? Two. Two hours. Did not Point feel two. like it. Mm. At all. Well, I couldn't even tell you what we talked about today. That's how... Yo, sometimes... We had a fucking FaceTime conversation. Should have been 40 seconds. Just to send information. It was fucking 30 minutes earlier. We need a, we need a weekly Easy. show, man. We need a weekly show besides just this. Or another episode that's just us. Even if we put a solo out. We need that solo on Friday or something. We need something. I feel like we have so much shit. FaceTime Friday. FaceTime Fridays. <laughs> Type of shit. We had something with that stereo app before that shit went all sideways. What if we did live stream? Mm -hmm. Me and you like yeah. co-live on a Discord so it doesn't get messed up. Mm -hmm. And we just save the footage and put it straight onto, no editing, just put it straight onto YouTube as like, FaceTime yeah, it's, Fridays. It's the only way. Something live. Like to like that. a 45 minute. Be boom. Shit. Those FaceTimes are the goofiest, silliest shit. But also, that's when. See, a lot. People just do goofy shit. Stop doing goofy shit. Me and Marty won't talk about it sometimes. Sometimes, man, you see that shit? Like, you won't talk. That guy's <laughs> fucking up, man. And you see what's his name? Like, I did. Not all. I mean, not when sitting there to call, like, hey, did you fucked up. I'm saying like when people do fuck up it's like oh that's when our facetime calls go yeah i saw that after we're done talking about this shit let's talk about that because that was <laughs> people just do stupid shit a lot and it's funny it's like how rogan commentates the ufc we commentate on stupid shit we see and we're not just talking about podcasts we're talking about earth welcome to earth <sighs> family right. friends everybody applies everybody if you're doing stupid shit Oh, yeah, I got the fucking Jerry Springer news before we even started this fucking, yo, sometimes people just, you know, kids say the darndest things. We need that. I'm going to reinvent that show because Bill Cosby is not going to be <laughs> part of this. Kids say the darndest things needs to be adults do some dumb shit. I forgot he did a kid's show. That is so creepy. Oh, I oh, completely he did. forgot he did And that. it's not like he was just like the spokesman for the number one kid's food of all time either. I just remembered just I didn't I Jello forgot that too. Jello pudding pops? I would fuck so kill evil. your family he even was, when I was five years old for a jello pudding pop. He was dosing people with shit though. You oh. Yeah. Man. This is how we gotta stay. You can't start doing Bill Cosby <laughs> talk because then because then they're gonna be like, Hey, hey, we already don't like you talking about meth. Don't be talking about Sir Bill Cosby now and things he did. Remember um, when he grabbed a bunch of gummies and was like, Oh, here, just <laughs> eating some out of the bag. Now they're all over the table. And shit. You already know what was about to happen. I didn't. I had no idea. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Yeah, I eat these board hash things for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. One big handful, right down the hatch. That sounds horrible. <laughs> um, guys, I got to be honest. I came in here today. I had no direction. I just knew, like, you know, there's no guest. Can we please just call people a bitch or something? <laughs> Can we please just say <laughs> stuff? And also, I've been watching a lot of comedy enforcement still. That paid, the channel's awesome. Comedy enforcement does a lot of podcasting stuff. People are fucking up. People are doing stupid shit. And I, I mean, 
I, I think the first time we ever got a video age restricted is when we talked about the certain comedian. Remember that? Yeah. That's the first time we ever got age restricted, ever. Mm-hmm. Was when we cro- when we talked about Smish Masmia. We talked about that guy yeah. and his allegations that turned out to be true. Um, the first time we ever got age restricted, we talked about a certain famous comedian's allegations. Isn't that insane? That's when we started getting age restricted. You know, that? mm. that's the first time ever. Season one, like the sixth episode in. Eighth episode. And it was like a wholesome episode too, right? It was wholesome besides that. Wait, that was the How We Met Our Wives episode, uh, ironically. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. Um, so anyway, like it's hard not to... S- you know what? I don't give a shit. They can do whatever they want. I don't care. But I, I do see a lot of people still work with certain people that did weird shit. And it's like, yo, what do you do? What do you do if you're like, yo, I know what he did. They're lying. <laughs> All the hey, people man. are lying. I don't know about this one. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's what's been going on. Also, uh, get Shane Gillis's ass on the show. Everybody, go tag his ass. I, I, he needs to be on here. We need to be making fun of each other because that fool is just too funny. Shout He's out to the ten thousand people funny. that responded to our Instagram post for who they want. Well, comedian too. Shane Gillis was heavily. He was one of them. Uh, when we do that, guys, that's a big way for us to get guests. So thank you for you guys got fluffy for us. Posts. Thank you very much. That's how we got fluffy. You guys tagged him. He came hitting us up directly in the post in the comments. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, yeah. Besides that, we just wanted to catch up, man. We just wanted to catch up and see how you guys are doing. Want to let them know who we got coming on the show? Didn't we talk about it earlier? I don't think so. No, we were supposed to have Flight Reacts on. Yes, we talked about that. Flight Reacts was supposed to be here today, but he did not show up today. So whenever he comes on the show, he comes on the show. We also have coming up very soon Ralph Barbosa, which is going to be very sick. Um, up and coming comedian, which I think is awesome because that is what is it? Every rapper wants to be a comedian. Every comedian wants to be a rapper. <laughs> or no, basketball player, rapper, right? Uh-huh. Is, that the, is that what it was? Some shit. Something like that. It's like, damn. You're doing stages and shit. This one's crushing it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people request Hyped. him too. Yeah. yeah. Funny shit. We're I'm working excited. on Mexican OT. I had guys. All right. There's two things we get we messages do. about 30,000 times a day. Number one, we know people are ripping off push trees. Thank you guys Thank you. for creating awareness about that. Yes. It's brutal Timu? what they're doing. Timu to Eat a dick. push trees. Okay. Thank you. But we get messages about that constantly. Number two, we're daily trying, we're working towards getting, not daily, but a lot, getting Mexican LT on here. We've done everything we can do. I'm not the, we are not the fools to go, hey, hey, you'll be really sick. I'm going to ask you a few times. We'll follow if up If you want to sure. go. Yeah. But no, we're not this like the, please, please, please. We're, it's this, it's done. We're out, out, out and do solo right now. We love doing solo episodes. We Matter love fact, Mexican LT <laughs> to be here. Yeah. He's supposed to come. Couldn't make it in time. Supposed to come. Did make it in time. It's not like we're pushing it off. That's what we're trying to get at. When they get the time, they'll get the time. Benny was supposed to happen eight months ago. We're not going to be like, yo, come on, man. You said you would do it. Like, no, when you have the time, you have the time. When X and OT has the time, he'll have the time. We're not going to be sitting here pushing. We're talking to his managers. We're talking to his people. Manager trying to be a fan. So when it happens, it happens. We're not going to sit here and bug, bro. If you got the time, you're going to come. That's what she said. <laughs> And there's another uh, day one guest that I, I'm just going to mysteriously allude to who is locked in without a date. Oh, oh. Who is, uh, oh. I'm going to let you allude to this a little bit. Because, guys. This man can knock you asleep by staring at you. This man can bite an appendage off. This man will knock you asleep by staring at you. Did I say that already? Yeah, I did. He'll disarm you with a ice cold stare. Hey everybody, you want to eat mushrooms? <laughs> That's who I hope we get for walking through the door. I hope we get the champ, post champ of. You guys want to eat mushrooms? I'm like, kind. <laughs> I do. I kind of do. <laughs> yeah, Mike Tyson locked in. Coming officially coming to the Dope and Easy podcast. Tyson's officially coming to the fucking show. See the transcript goes, and he said fucking very hardly. Bold. 208. Underline. Damn, it's a 208. If it's 208, I'm losing my shit. 210. Damn it. Anyway. Yeah, Tyson coming, guys. Damn, I don't know how. I was like, who are you speaking yeah. of? There's not a date attached to it, guys. I wasn't even going to bring this up, but 
we're fully locked in into the shit. So we'll see. About to start levitating. I know. I feel like I want. I forgot about the shit for a minute. That's a big deal. Start levitating right now. You remember that Kendrick Lamar? I think it's all right. The video where he's walking down the street, but he's not walking. He's kind of floating over the street and he's just moving. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel Mm -hmm. when you're like Tyson's locked in. I was like, yeah. And I floated up my stairs. Yep. There was a couple moments last week where I was in my garage like, fucking flex see Marty's in his garage <laughs> every time April walks in <laughs> he hit you in the stomach where, the, where that mesh is let me fucking blow smoke in your dad's face <laughs> stupid ass. I can only imagine the nicest man ever just getting clouded coming out to evaluate the tent tent Earlier it sounded like he said tits. So for everyone out there coming out here to evaluate the tit, like, you just say about your fucking father-in-law? Tint. Window tint. Um, oh, okay. Also, one more thing. It made me really reevaluate my life again. I tried my best to go out of my way and say hi to people and went, oh, God, all you people are just not saying hi back. This sucks. Then we were out. We did the fan. Oh, we flew out Julian and Milo. Julian 420, 420 Julian won the golden ticket for the dopeshop.com three months ago. He just couldn't get it out, couldn't come out in time. He was doing too much shit. So we did it this month. We flew him out from Chicago. We got him in the van, took him to his restaurant. We got high, went weed shop, went to the Grows, Top Golf. You know, just like a day of getting high with us. That was the whole point of them when they won the golden ticket and they already make YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. Like, and everybody's like, yeah, right, they won. I mean, one person won, you just got to bring a friend. Somebody won that, month one. And the guy was such an asshole, we decided not to do it anymore. He basically said, fuck you and your trip, give me a PlayStation. And went, oh, maybe we should ask people anymore if they wanna come out here. What if we just get more psychos? Anyway, we opened it up again, and that's that's who won. I remember the day I got the DM, like, wait, I've seen your face before. Mm. Oh, you've done a, he did a review on the dopest before. People really think we set that shit up. Like, mm. yeah, he won. Like, hey, this is, the, this is the now the the tenth month. We just decided to try again, dickhead. Fans are gonna win. Of course, they're the <laughs> ones that are buying this shit. But the fact that he won is pretty wild, dude. Because mm-hmm. him and his fan both buy, so it's like you had two chances. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we brought him out. And John, John's like the most talkative person on yeah, earth. Course. Talks to everyone on earth. He would make friends with everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm the opposite. I don't say shit to nobody if I don't know you. I think it's just from an age of like, oh, there's the other gangbangers. And then there's like, I go home with my mom, my sister, dickheads are here. So it's like, you know, it's fun. My sister's on the other side of the wall. My sister's yeah. here <laughs> for everybody. Get her on the show. Probably never happened, bro. I will probably just argue for fucking two hours. So anyway, um, John's talking to all these people at the table next to us. And I was like, I kind of just say words. I said, I finally said words to the people next. I was like, oh, yeah, we do this and this and this and this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, it's not too bad. Not too bad. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. And then my doctor, I don't tell anybody what we do. I told you that. And people ask me, I go to my doctor five times a week. It's the sixth or fifth week now. Let's get to, I would be honest and say that we talk, we've talked and we like, we talk about stuff. Like we're sitting there for two hours mm-hmm. doing the procedure stuff. And uh, I'll tell nobody what we do. I'll say nothing. I'll say we have a show. I'll say shit. I'll say nothing. But oh, I just do like production. Yeah. Like for podcasts. Oh, no, not like comedians or anything. Just like shit you never heard of, like health and shit. I always say, let's do production. I don't tell nobody nothing. They recently, like, you wear this brand a lot. I go, yeah, I just want to call the company. But, oh, it's yours. But, like, yeah, yeah, I started a long time ago. I just started bringing up something else because I don't want to go into it because most people are like, oh, it's this weed. Look at this full smoking fucking weed on the internet. Like, And then they, I come back in, there's a different vibe. That doctor piece of shit bitch from Merced fucked me up, dude. Mm. She scared me. I'm like, oh, I can't treat you if you smoke marijuana. When I, when I broke my shit, when I actually ended up breaking my vertebrae. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid how did I do it I don't know I wonder whose comment I was typing when I went oh my god that fucking hurt um oh um shit anyway sorry the reason I bring it up my doctor walks in 
like a week ago, and he just opens the door and goes, you didn't tell us you do a show. Like, just, like, you didn't say anything. He's like, I've watched four episodes already. Hooked. <laughs> Instant fan. My doctor. Right? He's like, I would have never guessed on earth. I would have bet my life that you don't do anything involved with talking because you don't say anything. So you're the quietest person ever. I was like, yeah, man. Like, if you talk to me, like, I'll talk. But like, it's like, you don't say anything. But you talk, you talk on the show like you're a different part. That's why I say. And I went, I got to stop. I got to stop this. I kind of just talk to people. And I know this is like, I say this on the talk show. Sorry. But if I don't know you, I ain't going to say a word to you. Mm-hmm. That's it. When people recognize me, I'm so talkative because I'm like, oh, you already know who I am. You know that I'm a nice person. You're probably fucking nice because you even came up to me and said something. Like, what's up, fool? Different. It's, a, it's different right off the bat, right? Mm-hmm. It's like a little secret club. Like, oh, you got the, oh, what's up? It's different. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just need to talk to strangers more. I, I'm not strangers. It's people. It's the, I can say what I do. <laughs> anyway, he said it 12 times. Like, I can't believe you talk for a living. Oh yeah, he's like you don't say nothing. He said it like that. I'm like, damn, you're right. I don't say shit to no one. And and then then because uh, one of the girls that works there, I guess, was getting picked up by her boyfriend. Is like, what the fuck is that fool? I was like, that's Thomas. I'm like, why do you know Thomas? I'm like, he comes here. Mm. And then I came in, and the whole office like, oh, mm. she showed everybody my shit. But anyway, the doctor's a fan, so shout out to Dr. Ryan. He fucking loves this stuff. Huh, but cool. the reason I'm saying that is like, I went home and I'm like. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Because that's not, I'm not, I don't know. This is, uh, this is me. But also, quiet ass fool like this in the corner. Mm -hmm. That can be you too. That's me too. Yeah. But I got to start, stop just being this fucking dude. Because I'm afraid that people are going to be dicks. I'm going to punch them or get upset. Does that make sense? I got to stop thinking like that. Mm -hmm. Last night I was taking my sister in and out. And there was like five or four uh, dudes. They're like 20. I was walking back to my car. And they're like, Yo, what do you do? What do you do to get that? What do you do? How'd you get that? And I go, <laughs> um, I just do like, uh, like, you know, closing, clothing stuff. They're like, oh, you sell clothes. It couldn't sound sketchier when you do that. When but he says back. like, what do you, how do you do that? What do you like? What do you do for work? How did you get that? What is that? And I was like, uh, I just do clothing stuff, man. Because if I go, oh, I'll do YouTube, they're going, what channel? Instantly. Which is fine. But I always feel like people are going to be fucking dicks. I don't know why. I got to get over that shit. You can call yourself a host. Podcast host. That's a nice clean thing people accept. Yeah, I guess so. But then it's the show. And then once you see the show, you see everything. Yeah. But I can't see the clothes because you know the website, you see everything. But I can't see the re-up and you go, oh, you're in the weed industry. But I can't see the dope. Oh, you're in the weed industry. Your face is on the website. It's the weirdest dilemma, man, dude. <laughs> I got to stop being in the dilemma and just let it go. Because, I mean, everywhere I go, some of the people are like, yo, what's up, man? I'm like, hey, what's up? For? It's like, like fight I'm at club. work. I'm at work. Exactly. It's like Fight Club. Yeah. Most people are like, yo, I'm at work. I'm like, oh, I love your shit. <laughs> That's how they were in the Bahamas. The dudes at work, they're like, yo, I can't really say much because I have butt, but like, I love your shit. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Was it really illegal there? No, not the weed. Not the weed like that. They were just they mm. can't really like so like talk to the guests and be talking to them like because mm. the dudes that are running the, gotcha, the this gotcha. or doing this or doing that they're not like supposed to sit there and take pictures. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I want to take a picture so bad, but I'll get in trouble. There's cameras everywhere. I was like, Oh, no worry, man. My last day as I was fucking in the river, I fucking hopped out because he was on the side and I took a picture of his ass. <laughs> so somewhere there's some picture of me just all <gasps> fucking shirtless and fucking sunburnt <laughs> with some dude, Chris. Um. Yes, this case. Uh, yeah, anyway, so as they were saying that, I was getting in my car, and I was like, yeah, you, you do what did you just say? Clothes? And I was like, yeah, marketing stuff. Like, oh, okay. Give him no type of fucking direction. <laughs> I feel more yeah. like I was being a dick if their eyes now, like, that guy didn't want to tell us what he, he must does. Sell drugs. He must do something. <laughs> That's the, I never thought of the other end, but I was just getting in my car, I was like... <laughs> You the gotta fuck say am I something doing? Big, I gotta say like, something. I gotta stop doing that, man. And this morning, I dropped my car off at Mercedes. My fucking Maybach is leaking oil in my fucking garage. Sorry, I just had to say that. There's a puddle of oil bigger than me in my fucking garage when I got back home. 
Damn. Oh my God. Sorry. That's annoying. That really pissed me off. I brought it in. Here's another example. I brought my car in this morning. And I'm in the in the offices. I'm just looking at every fucking dude there. Like, I'm wearing all the guys that work there. Kind of like, oh shit. Obviously, you don't see you don't see that kind of car right often. But one of the dudes, shout out to Eddie. Eddie works. He's like, he's like, you do from the dope as usual podcast. I'm like, oh fuck yeah. What did, I never had anybody say it like that. That was awesome. Anyway, this is like, uh, like the like the like the woman that that gives Robbie Hart meatballs and the wedding singer for singing lessons. Like that age of a woman, super nice white lady, I guess. Super. I got. I, at first, she looked mean. <laughs> But I'm standing by the car, and she walks up like, oh, oh my God, this car. And it goes, oh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's awesome. She says, oh, this is yours? I was like, yeah, it's mine. I was like, oh, man, what's coming next? The way she said, oh, this is yours? I'm like, oh, what are you going to say next? All I kept thinking was, are you a driver? Who bought this for you? Did you steal? I was like, damn, what are you going to say with the way she said it? I was like. I feel like something mean's coming next. And then, no. She's like, yeah, it's beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, I've never even seen this. This is a Mercedes. And she did the whole spiel. And she's like, oh, yeah, what do you do? I was like, oh, yeah, marketing. And I did it again this morning, Marty. Three hours ago, I did this. And then I went right to my back doctor. So my back is freshly popped. Um, I did it again. I promise. I, I what was it a month and a half ago. I was like, I'm trying to get over this thing. Come on, kid, get over it. And then I was like, I gotta go back to New York. And I'm just gonna, st- I'm gonna start talking like that. All right, Marty. Yo, welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. We're here to talk about fucking Lucy's chopped cheese and lighters. You like that? The Dementors that come down, suck the soul out of your, out of your body in the night. See what happens when Marty's not sitting here. I just try to like buffer. I try to buffer zone. Nobody else in podcasting. None of you other motherfuckers are getting up and changing your own cameras like Marty is right now. All right, go. let's just throw that out there. I'm buffering and doing New York voices. <laughs> I do voices. Oh, hot dog. Or was it? This is my impression of a hot dog. Miss Doubtfire when he's trying to get a wow. job placement. <laughs> no, that's it. Uh, those details uh-huh. like. But uh, you remember when he's trying to get job placement, he's like, I do when you voices. Uh-huh. What do you mean you do voices? Yes. And he starts doing all the, God, that motherfucker was funny. And once again, the algorithm just picked up, motherfucker. Imagine a Robin Williams episode. Hey, don't do stuff like that to me. That's fucked up. Because mm-hmm. you can't. I know. It's sad. Who's our top five people who have died that we would have liked? Oh, my God. I don't want to go down yeah. that road. That seems so <laughs> sad. <laughs> who be? We already said, I mean, obviously DMX, Tupac. These would be epic ep- episodes. Come on. Come on. Who's the first guy that would be shaking his hair out of his eyes that I want to sit down with? What? Chris Farley. Yeah, of course. Chris Farley be sitting there. Oh, yeah. So, so what is it? Oh, phone? What is that kind of thing? Like, this is fucking iPhone, man. Yo, this is sad. I don't want to wow. do that. That's fucked up. I just started thinking about that, and that's yeah. fucked up. Right. No, 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 no. That's weird. That's weird. That's like shit you do in dreams. Oh! <laughs> That's true. God! We had Will Sasso. That was the closest yeah. thing you Kennedy. Could Somebody, hey, let me. I want to get your voice down. Yeah, no, you're totally not relevant anymore, but I want to get the voice down. Just talk. All right, nobody gets that dude bad voice impersonation. That'd be it. That's all I get out of Kennedy. Like, who shot you? But no, 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 no. Talk. You sound like Mayor Quimby. From, you know, from <laughs> Simpsons a little. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> no, you sound like Mary. Wow. You bit him. Wow. Everybody out of there be like, yo, what is this guy talking about? And everybody over 24 go in. Oh, gotcha. Yo, the Simpsons. Go back and watch the Simpsons. We're putting a lot of younger fools on some uh-huh. good shit. Go watch the fucking first 15 seasons of the Simpsons. Watch the shit with a notepad. Right. It's good. It's good shit, man. Um, what was I going to say? What the f- Sorry, we talked about how sad it would be to interview people that yeah. are dead. Oh, uh, God. You were talking about the meeting the fans in the Caribbean. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? Dude, I say Caribbean. And then I say Caribbean half the time. It's like saying Maybach, Maybach. Yeah. I feel like dumb saying what it one way say? and dumb saying it the other way. Huh? No one said shit. Nobody said the word Caribbean the whole time? No, nobody wanted to say good morning back. <laughs> Maybe we could have a conversation. 
But nah, nobody wanted to say hi back to me. <laughs> Fucking jerks. Oh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids last night, I was like, I'm marketing. And I got back in my car and drove off like a fucking asshole. So I got to start talking. Even though, all right, guys, we're, we're, we're all growing together, okay? So what did we get from the story? My back is getting better. I'm going to be two inches taller at the end of this bitch. I swear to God. If you count up all the millimeters, how many millimeters are in an inch? Can you check? Are you wait? How many millimeters are in an inch? Am I gonna get taller for real? I've been making this joke for a fucking month. I've been making this fucking joke, and I'm gonna be six two at the end of this shit. Uh, one inch equals twenty five point four millimeters. Oh fuck! No, I'm not gonna grow an inch. Okay, so I got five. Oh oh, how many millimeters? Are I got a seen? five, a five, a four, a four, a four, a three, four twos. What does that mean? Like five millimeters, another five millimeter disc that's out of place. Five millimeters. Uh, oh, so that's ten, you. 14, 18. That's four discs right there. Mm -hmm. I have fifteen discs out of place, okay. and three more, three. Yeah. So that's nine more. I'm at twenty nine millimeters. I'm gonna grow over an inch if they all go. If back they all go place, back to place would... like they should. Some science right here. <laughs> well, gonna start more. I know you never seen Lost Boys, but the song from Lost Boys is gonna start playing as I fucking start rising. I'm gonna rise, and my hair's gonna grow long as shit. <laughs> yeah, I really is that a about scene that. from the movie? Because I'll spend thirty minutes trying to find a frame of what you're talking about. No, I was just imagining it, no. and then I was imagining a uh, Bruce Almighty for some reason. Mm. But no, no, that's just uh, that's Mark Echo. In the mid two thousands, remember all the shirts of Mark oh, Echo? Yeah, the guy yeah. was floating or doing something spray yeah. paint. <laughs> yeah, you guys remember? All you motherfuckers remember? Everybody that wore big dickies back then, you guys know what the fuck shirts I'm talking about. Anybody that wore a Ben Davis outfit ever, anybody that's ever wore Cortezes knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. We didn't have Ben Davis or Cortezes, but we had. Yeah, you didn't have Mexicans, full five X dicky suits. Yeah, though. you had no Mexicans. Yeah. We, we have black fatigue jackets and shit. That you guys wore five X because it got so cold. Sometimes you'd be like, "Yo, get in here!" <laughs> like, "Yo, it's freezing out here, kid." <laughs> I swear to God, I don't ever want to be in that kind of cold. But maybe I do. What if I just get taller? Everything I always say, well, I got taller. <laughs> Yo, I woke up this morning taller. Yo, I'm gonna get out of this back thing over an inch taller. That's pretty funny. That's a good testimonial. Could you imagine Marty, if I cut back and I'm Eye level with Mark, like, yo, what's up, man? I grew four inches. Uh -huh. Chevy Woods comes back for episode two. You guys are just eye to eye now. No, I'm looking at the top of his hat, knocking lint. Like, you have some lint on the top of your hat, kid. <laughs> Let me get that. <laughs> looking down <laughs> on him. Could you guys imagine? Sorry, we're over here just ranting and shit. I'm sorry. Back, back issues. Go fix them. If you uh, have back issues, 100%, please. If you've ever done anything or taken any advice from anything we've ever done, go look at decompression. Don't look at spine fusing. Don't look at screws. Don't look at back surgery. Please, yet. Please go look at decompression. Um, I don't know what the procedure is called, but it's the table and it pulls my hips. It's not an inversion table and you're not hanging. You're flat and it's pulling your hips at a certain degree for each vertebrae or for each disc. Mm -hmm. So I swear to God, guys, I couldn't even walk in August for a couple of days. The other day I bent over and I haven't bent over and grabbed something and got up without having to hold my breath or stick my knuckle in my hip so it doesn't pop or doesn't like get out of place. Bro. Big win. Yeah. Putting on my shoes, my, my shoes are tied in the middle. I don't know. I know you never noticed this. Look down. They're tied in the middle. They're usually tied right here because I can't bend over far enough. So I have to just. Try to get them where I can. Oh, no. Because my back hurts so bad. Fuck. But now I can bend over and tie my shoe Proper. properly. Damn it. So if you ever seen any videos, my shoelaces are always really, really close to the inside because I can't. My back gets stuck. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how many things I can't do because of my back. It's yeah. nuts, dude. I can do them, but it's just not fun. Over time, you just become like debilitated and you're like, fuck, I didn't even realize. Crazy, dude. My whole time. Every time you ever see me on my... Every time I've ever been on camera, my back is crushing a little more. 
you did this. <laughs> nah, for real though, all those meet and greets definitely flared all this up. That's when I crushed my fucking arch. Mm. Yo, my, my, I need to take more vitamins. I don't eat enough food. That's what I'm saying. This fat guy, so he was eating enough fucking food. I don't. That's why I just like. I feel like uh, Daria. Do you remember Daria? Of course. That's how my body feels with motivation inside all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go work out. <laughs> That's how I feel like flopping to the bed at all times. Uh, but I know I'm like, I got to get up. I'll smoke more OG, you guys. I'll smoke more Indica. I need to wake up. It never works. Anyway. Yeah, that's what happened, guys. I'm My body's getting better. I got to say my back sucks. My back doesn't suck. My body's getting better. Because this, this, it sucks. Yeah. Um, all right. And I got to get in shape, run a marathon so we can get sponsored by Hoka. Come on, Hoka. Give us a check. And a bunch of sick shoes because I got a bunch of Hoka's. They work. I wore Hoka shoes the other day. That's when I know how much my back hurts. I wore fucking Hoka shoes out. And I was not going to any part of exercise. And that's why I look down like, oh, my back's bad. Because <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm going to wear Vans. And then now I'm wearing Vans when I'm supposed to. But I put my arches in them this morning, so we're good. Guys, sorry, we're over here talking about how bad my body, my back hurts. Um, yeah, so I don't know what else we've been talking about. We've been talking about a bunch of shit. If you're still here, thanks. Because this is what our FaceTimes turn into, just talking <laughs> shit. Usually way more explicit, but... We're going to figure it out, guys. Um, f- above all, right now, do us a huge favor. Follow us on Spotify. Dope as usual on Spotify. Let's get that shit to 100K. We're almost to 100K on Spotify, which is awesome. Fucking sick. Thank you guys so much. Do you think this- you want likes, comments, all that? Where views? would they tell them? On Instagram. Wherever. I don't know. Let it be known. Tell your neighbor. YouTube's got a monopoly on this, and it's not cool. because I need you to go tell your neighbor. Like, yo, YouTube's got a monopoly on our fucking homies out here. I know you don't have a computer, Miss Jasmine. But they got a monopoly on these fools. Go follow them on Spotify. <laughs> you go tell everybody. Tell people that don't speak English about you, Spotify. All you girls out there that got like four dudes trying to hit on you, tell them to go follow us on Spotify. That's how you're going to crush it. Thank you. Every girl out there that watches our shit that has a bunch of dudes trying to hit on them, be like, yeah, yeah, I'll give you my number if you follow these fucking fools on Spotify. Catch me in the comments. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, but, yo, if you did that shit. That's a good way to support. That's pretty sick. Hey, and we're not just limiting all the dudes out there that got a bunch of dudes hitting on them. We're not, we're not limiting anything. Tell them to go follow Spotify. And buy a bunch of medium shirts because we got a lot of mediums right now. Everybody... Use your looks and tell me I was kidding. <laughs> tell your fucking parents. What was that? Sorry, it was like a, they said to go. Go get your parents' credit card. Oh, Krusty the Clown. Sorry. We're going back to the Simpsons over and over and over. <laughs> Apologize. Take it back. It was Krusty when he was selling, he was selling stuff. Guys, let's continue because I'm very sorry if you're still keeping you here. If you're still here, thank you very much. Go follow us on Twitter. All right? Dope as usual on Twitter. Our Instagram. Go follow our Instagram, Dope as usual podcast, correct? Correct. Yes. I mean, one of them had podcasts on the end of that bitch. TikTok. Dope as usual. Boom, man. One point something million likes in damn near three, four months now. Thank you. We're at like 70 something, 80,000. Mm-hmm. Almost all platforms are at 100, which is crazy. Also, Facebook is just, it's over 100. Thank you guys so much. All you fools out there that'll actually like our Facebooks, thanks, because there's some crazy ass bitches out there. Dudes and chicks are bitches. Whoa. The girls do drugs more videos doing really good right now. Yeah? Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. And uh, it's funny, the ones that, that really go, they really fucking go on Facebook. And it can happen later on. It might sit for two, three weeks, and now it shot up to 350. Now Wait, how bad is it, though, days. when I said girls do more drugs, though? No, it wasn't a controversial it's not, one. It's not bad? No, oh, it was more okay. people like agreeing, I think. I don't really wow. know. I don't sit there and read the comments. The most sexist thing I ever said. I could and be, now they're like, I could yeah, it's good. <laughs> I could but be me wrong. talking about something I didn't even have no part of. But you're a piece of shit. Why are you on Facebook? I hate you. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. It's all right. But and also. The, the Clips channel is motherfucking booming. Thank you. Clips channel. Dope as usual podcast. Clips. Maybe we should change to like dope as usual clips. No, because it's Dope Usual Podcast on Instagram, on YouTube also. Mm-hmm. We're keeping it the same. Never mind. Yeah. And there's just going to be nothing but more content coming out on that in 2024. For damn sure. Dope Usual Podcast.com. 
super proud of how the site's looking right now. Marty made a brand new website. Go check that shit out. And coming 2024, Marty will have his course out. We're trying to figure out how to do it still, but it's coming. All right. So if you're out there and you're, you know what? We, we've talked about it, but you already know. All the stuff that the fool does is not just sit here and get high with me. There's a lot more of stuff. There's a lot more technical shit. What would you call it? Graphic arts. Digital well, media. Digital media. There you go. Digital media. All right. Go check it out. Go check out Marty's pages. Marty made it on Instagram. Um, yeah. Oh, Push Trees got hacked the other day. Yeah. Fuck. Push Trees Instagram got hacked. We found out who push trees instagram got hacked and within 10 minutes of them hacking it it was already on the dark web for sale my friend went to go see if he could find it already for sale on the dark web and then we found a bunch of dms they were getting erased as we were reading and when we got back in this full in another language telling asking people to buy it from different pages changed our bio says if you own this page please dm yeah. me at this like Ooh, these are some creepy. hackers we got it back mm -hmm. and back in an hour because we also have a hacker dude. He it's not me, by the way. No. If it was, we would just hack YouTube and go, hey, let, let them buy. <laughs> Pay. Monetize them. Defuck them. Yeah, there you go. Defuck them. Reflower. <laughs> All right. Let them not be fucked constantly by us. Because you you know what? No, that's what's getting us. Within 10 seconds, you said, YouTube, fuck you, and you suck. Within 10, minutes, 10 seconds of a span, keywords, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what's getting us. Also, yeah, okay. Um, so, yeah, go, go, go follow all those accounts, guys. We're doing all as much as we can. We're doing everything we can right now. A lot of stuff coming. A lot, a lot of cool sponsors coming. And thank you guys for being here. It's been a long episode, but I think we needed it. And it's just a rant episode, mm -hmm. which is totally, totally fine. The, the, uh, title is going to be why yola hates leaving the country <laughs> <laughs> the true true american but you know what we needed it it's a cleansing i'm getting taller literally literally finally how many times time. i said that <laughs> god i'm gonna just get taller you wish that it's manifestation <laughs> i'm gonna get taller i don't know how i'm gonna do it but it's gonna work all right what else what else what else what else <laughs> I need a hundred million dollar check from somebody, but it's going to be for something really good and not like something I don't approve of. And it's going to be really sick. And then everyone's going to be hyped and I'm going to get to keep at least 50 after these 60, after these taxes. And then I'm going to put 10 into something that's going to make me fucking 40 back and I'm going to be crushing it. <laughs> that's how these things work. Mm -hmm. What did I say? I want the car to get messed up enough. Just to where I have to get a new car. But they cash me out still because it's not my fault. But I also don't get hit that hard to where I get really hurt. And you're also not in the car. Is that where I broke my vertebrae? When that bitch hit and run on me? Sorry, I've been trying to figure out when this mm -hmm. broke. Remember I got the fucking whiplash hella hard? When was that? The doctor? The 2014. Blue the blue car? No, and my, my, my Impala, and then I got the money. Mm. Oh, 2014, yeah. Uh, Is that when I know. fucking... Can be. Sorry, I've been trying... Ever since they told yeah. me, like, your shit was broken at one point. I'm like, what? Fractured? I'm like, yeah, it was bad. It's healed, but it's there. I'm like, what? When? Like, it's years, for sure. Anytime your head just snaps back real quick. No, because that's where my shit's fucked up at. Yeah. Like, it's still out of place. I can feel it. It's crazy being able to feel that my disc is not sitting. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine sciatic pain when people get the lay on the leg, but up here it's down the arm. Mm -hmm. So it's still the same sciatic pain. It's but it's on the arm. It's the weirdest feeling ever, and it shoots to right here. So I'm like, am I having a heart attack? Oh no, mm. it's my neck. God, it's the worst, dude. I wake up. Oh, ow! Let's get out of here. <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. Guys, thank you so much for being here. We just sitting here talking. Appreciate you for being here. Marty, anything else you want to say? Appreciate you guys. This was nice checking out. It's been a minute. I feel like it's been a minute. Guys, uh, I was thinking the other day, maybe we should be more topical. Maybe we should talk about more stuff. I think we should bring back segments a little bit like we used to. Mm -hmm. What's good segment? This, I can't even remember these. I can't even remember them. It's What's popping? What's, What's popping? Yeah. What's good? What's popping? 
movie uh, talk. We had like I didn't go back and watch the first season. We had like a bunch of, and then we were like, "Why do we even do this? Let's just talk about what the fuck we want to talk about." Mm. But also, it keeps us in track. It keeps us in line. It gives us a little structure because, like I said, I will talk here for forty minutes and I hurt my neck constantly by violently hand gesturing. So, <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you're still here, drop a like. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, I think that's it. Thank you so much for being here. This is the Dope As Usual podcast. We have talked about life, drugs, problems, and accomplishments, and my motherfucking back. Guys, thank you for being here. For Marty O'Neill and I, have a dope-ass day. Nice. Yo. Oh, it's 420 on the dot.